We'll call the meeting order at 5 p.m. Nice to have you with us. Thanks for showing up. It's cold. Uh, first order of business is uh, Mr. Tim Howard from Armanet. Uh, Armand Networks. Armand Networks. Uh, considering the uh, data processing program, budget, and et cetera. So I asked him to come today because there are a lot of questions I wasn't able to answer regarding the software and the new computers that were on the schedule. What we needed, what we didn't need. Just give us just a minute because we're counting in paper. <laughs> All of it produced by, you know, computers. <laughs> yeah, remember, remember when computers were coming and paper would disappear? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. We have this, which, and folks, uh, I'm sure they'll do a piece of it, but it's considering desktop replacement. I, I guess we'll go through the whole thing. Or do you have specific no, questions? I don't know. Tim was going to, I thought you had, I know that you had questions about, do we need to do them? The computers themselves, what goes on the server, what doesn't, things like that. So, I just moved to the front. Yeah, yeah. for us, I'm sorry. He can answer some of those questions. That's what I was asking. This is not server-based programming, so that they've got slave scopes. This is all individual hard drive. So each, the it's client server. So you have your, uh, sorry, your uh, systems that are connected to the server, which have to authenticate to the domain so that they are granted access to the resources there, um, so that they can access the databases that the town uses to store it. Right, but what I'm saying is when you say you're going to put, you need so many licenses and so many new computers, we don't have the main program on the server. The databases on the server. You have databases, right. but not the main like Word and stuff, so they're only accessing the program on the server. They're accessing it off their boxes. Exactly. Right. So everything's individual instead of a main server. No. So the main server houses all the information. The main server authenticates each PC, so with the server, you have to have a username and password mm -hmm. that grants you access to, accesses to the re access to the resources on the network. The shared drives, the printers, uh, the databases, and you know, the application databases, and so forth. So you need to have the computer that will that is joined to the dom what they call a domain, mm -hmm. and your username and your password. You authenticate against that domain, just like you would against online banking or something. Well, that's why I say they're not slave scopes. They're actually programming, and then they're authenticating to get into it, their backup data. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Because a yeah. lot of places now are going server based software so that everybody has a slave scope and they can access or, sign in that way. You yeah. still have to buy the license but you don't buy the hardware. Yes, but that's more when you're cloud based versus um, versus on premise, meaning that the databases and the applications from uh, vendors like Vision or some of the other one BMSI I believe yeah. we use here, they're moving in that direction. They meaning the vendors are moving in that direction. They're not there yet. Okay. So. so, I mean, the, the question I have, so you're talking here, I was talking some new laptops. Or, I mean, not laptops, new desktops. Okay. What, why do we need to get new ones? I mean, is there not a way to take the desktop we have and put the program we need in it? So, the reason why, the number one reason why we have to upgrade the desktop is because the Windows 7 operating system that is running on the system is going to be end of life, end of support, January, let's just say 15th, 2020. So what that means is the systems will become non-compliant, which means that with the municipal software that we run here, we need to have Applicate operating systems that are compliant because we have security concerns, we have PCI requirements. Um, so we have to upgrade these machines per the standards that are set forth by the state of New Hampshire to use the applications that they have there. If we wanted to upgrade the operating system, we're looking at a majority of the systems here, these five systems in question, are six plus years old. 
So it was 6.87 years old on a majority of the workstations. So to go and upgrade them, we're, gonna, we're looking at purchasing the Windows 10, and, uh, Windows 10 Professional software, which is about $300. Saying that these machines have been in production for almost seven years, you're looking at replacing the hard drives. So replacing the hard drives, let's add another $200. So right now we're at about $500. <coughs> then we're going to add some additional memory into those workstations. Let's add another $100 to get up there. So right now we're about $600. Then it's going to be the man hours to rebuild the machine. And at that point, why not buy a brand new machine with, four year, with a four-year warranty as we had put together recommended here? I want to just make sure. I, I'm just trying to get yeah. all the information together so we can, we can make four decisions. Are you folks going to recommend solid state memory? Solid state drives? Yeah. Yes. The, the, in the quotation we have, it yeah. does have solid state drives. I, 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 wanted, I think that's a pretty good idea. It might right. maybe for longer, um, longer life, longer faster life response for, for you know, for whatever we do. Yeah. Can I? Or sure. Kim, you know, um, the one part. that I received last year the window with the Windows 10, my desktop is literally a square box. It doesn't have a CD drive. It doesn't have anything else on it. So that needs to be taken into consideration, I think, if so I could still use a CD ROM, quite frankly. Um, but I was not aware when it came until I, this, it was being installed that it, was a, it, it wasn't a tower anymore with options for whatever. Um, <coughs> because all my USB things are all used up and that kind of thing. So I don't know if there's needs on these for these other ones, if that's the case and how they're coming, that that needs to be thought of, whether there is a need for wherever they're going, whether they do need a CD drive or a, a, you know, a, um, more the USB things or whatever. I, you know, it's just that I didn't realize it wasn't going to be a tower. We've always had the towers in the past, and this was just that box. So. Right, so as the technology has changed, right. you'll notice that if you go to Staples or you go to Best Buy or Walmart, you can yeah. purchase a piece of software. When you purchase the box, there's more or less a license in there. So you're going to download the application. So you'll see more and more computers these days are coming without CD-ROM drives because yep. folks are either taking the data and storing them up to a cloud location and then sharing them somewhere. Yeah. Um, or if you do need to have a CD or DVD drive, then yeah. we will go out in certain instances, uh, purchase an external yeah. that can be but shared. But I'm just saying that's them. an added cost, so I was just thinking that's part of that too. I was going to ask what a CD-ROM is. Uh, <laughs> the CD <laughs> disc. But the, <laughs> but the, uh, I still use them. I still, I still have a typewriter in my office I still use. <laughs> Um, so and it's it's just because there's particular forms that you need them for. So and there's storage things that are stored from previous people or or whatever that may you still may need access to. And we're not doing the cloud here, as far as I know. We're backing up on our server. Is that right, or do we use a cloud for anything? So here? All of the data is local. Right. And then our backup. I don't have the bill up in front of me, but I believe we take the data offsite after. I believe that's right. The contract was. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that um, we got to do 10 because, you know, Microsoft owns the world and we have to do what they say. But um, are, we, are we buying 10 or are we renting 10? Like, is there, is there an annual fee that we pay Microsoft? For, for the Windows system? 10 on the operating system of the desktop, you, once you purchase it, you purchase it. Right. You own it. And, and uh, but are you purchasing it then for every machine at three hundred dollars and something? Or no, 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 no. Uh, we're not purchasing the Windows upgrade for three hundred dollars at all. The, the quotation that we have here for you guys is for a physical machine. That's a one-time purchase. That operating system comes with the device. But we have five machines, so are we buying five them? machines? Include the operating system, so each machine okay, has its okay, operating system. Okay, okay, all right. Because I agree know where you're going right. for. Because now you either buy it or you rent it per year right. on yeah. the private side. And as you say, I mean the uh, Windows Seven will no longer be uh, updated and, and maintained. Right. Do we pay to have the Windows Ten? 
maintained and updated? Or does that come with the original purchase? Or are we going to be, you know? That's what we do as far as the contract is concerned. We maintain all of the devices here. Right, and keep them, in other words, so we get Windows 10. Mm -hmm. If they've got an update, you're the one going to put the update in. That's right, because what we'll, end up, what we'll end up doing is testing the update. So a couple months back, uh, we had some, some folks that had select machines under contract and other machines that were not under contract. Microsoft released a patch, or it was called a cumulative update for Windows 7. And in that update, there were some driver updates, and the driver in it that I'm referring to in this instance was for the network card. So what ended up happening is the we'll test all of the patches before we deploy them out to our customers. And in this, in these instances, some of these folks that said, "Oh, geez, it's a public machine. Let's just use that." Does everybody understand the public machine here? Yeah. Um, it people just use it to look up data, and we'll just turn Windows Update on for it to take care of by itself, if you will. Well, don't you know, as soon as the update was installed on the computer, the computer always wants to reboot to make sure that the updates are, uh, are uh, in, in production. If you go on the device, knocked out the network card, <laughs> caused other issues. So we then had to deploy folks on my technical team out to these different locations to be able to repair some of these folks that were not, uh, were not on the contract <coughs> to get them up and running. That's a scary issue. I think that, you know, just for the homeowner, mm -hmm. Uh, it's an automatic update. What, uh, Microsoft updates um, 10, whether you want it to or not. And it does a number of things in terms of reset, including in, uh, Internet Explorer, which ha has Internet Explorer had a security update in the last three and a half years? Uh, well, now, Internet Explorer is actually part of the operating system. I know. So mm -hmm. that's but we can, you know, the homeowner can say, I don't want that crap. we, we got to go Chrome or something. Right. Um, but it, it's a good thing that you're testing them because it, it does all sorts of things to the, you know, the us bottom feeders of uh, <coughs> operating systems. And that's the question I have for you because Microsoft Edge, mm -hmm. is that coming with the professional? Microsoft Edge is part of the operating system. Okay. Regardless. All right. So because Foxfire does not like Microsoft Edge. It says it's unsecured. Uh, the minute we set up our new... Um, and, and it did it on my new HP too. It says that it is not a secured link with Foxfire using Foxfire. The Firefox browser? Yeah. Um, Which I was surprised about. Connecting to a specific website? Any website it's got with Microsoft Edge. Yeah, take it for take it with a grain of salt. Well, I do, but when I when we went Microsoft 365, it said it was an unsecure connection. Microsoft 365 to, con to for connect our email. email for our email. Yeah. It says it's an unsecure connection with Foxfire. I didn't have that here, but I did with Foxfire. So what you have? So <laughs> what you have to do with other browsers? I, I, that's going I mean, off I'm topic, just I, no, I don't yeah. care about that. I just want to make sure that what we're talking about is we will be secure when we get Definitely. done. We have firewalls yeah, we still here. Have we have half servers. Half. We have the antivirus. We and we've only done half of the migrations. Right. Before. So the other half not going to happen until April. Right. So what we've done is we've migrated the email. Right. Mm -hmm. And next, what we'll do is we'll migrate um, and put the, the latest version of Microsoft Office. Let's call it Office 2016, mm -hmm. which will which is the Office 365 new sure, Excuse me. Um, on hopefully these machines, because they will that application will crawl and really bog down those other systems. For those that we're replacing them on, I don't know which computers they're going, but I know for my, with working with the state in my map browser, um, I, I put a note out to the state or a, a call out to the state, I haven't heard back yet, but as far as where the state is usually behind in their in the um, software side of things, whether my, my motor vehicle map programming as a browser is going to if actually upgrading would, would not be conducive to where they're at or if it would work with my the 10. Windows, oh, sorry. Windows 10 is going to work with, um, what are you using? Um, the, well, I'm straight browser with the state of New Hampshire. 
but the browser um, is that uh, they don't like Java updates. I know they that don't like, you, no. you have to always stay behind. Yeah, on the Java. The, yeah, because yep. the state is always behind. Yeah, but Windows 10, the operating system, system itself, itself, is not an issue. It's okay. these other components, i.e., the Java. And the printers I have, I'm not sure if. I, I guess I have to check into those, which are print out the motor vehicle registrations through that right. browser, whether that's going to like 10 or not, too. But if you call into the office and talk to Mark, yeah. you've spoken to Mark, I, Mark inter interfaces with the, um, with the uh, state a lot. Okay. So we would know. Okay. We would know. From your office or Mark's of the state? From my office. Okay. It's going to be a lot easier and faster to get my guys. Get your, <laughs> the, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know there was someone who interfaces right. with the state specifically. So, okay, good. Thank you. Further questions for Tim? I'm good. Well, I, I want to go to the, I mean, in our budget, we have a, a line for soft uh, data process software support. And the number on that is uh, $19,063. Um, and I presume that is part of you. Um, and is that your work to come and make sure that each program is up to date? But this is software support. So do you do software support? Or so that's doing... called a managed service contract that we have with the town. That's so the that may, that's the service contract. So that is if any, number one, starting from the internet in, we maintain and make sure that you're secure in and around your firewall. Any right. updates, any issues, we're watching that 24 hours a day, <coughs> seven days a week. We're doing the exact same thing coming into the network switches, from the switches into the network server, from there over to each workstation and your wireless access points. So that's us maintaining the network environment for you. That's us working with the state, as you had just mentioned, and or any other vendors on the behalf that actually is not the number. The number oh. is sixteen thousand a year on the the software support is the licenses like BMSI software and those things. Mm -hmm. If you go down to computer repair and maintenance for sixteen thousand, okay. that's where All right. that's where uh, that's that's his Tim's Tim's pieces. Okay. Yeah. Three thousand dollars. Sorry, careful. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's where it gets so confusing. I mean, there's so many different pieces that all add up and go under data process. So those vendors that, you know, the, the software support, the visions, and so on. So yeah. when there are uh, instances where there's an issue that's going on and it's technically inclined, my team will work with those vendors to make sure that the updates are, they have, the vendors have access and so on and so forth to do their job. And that their stuff is compatible with ours before they even start you know, making sure that they're compatible. So if there are meetings and we need to sit in on calls ahead of time, we'll do all of that for the town. I just put in for my update at the end of January with you guys for the MSI. Oh, you did? Yeah, and Mark is, as a matter of fact, Mark, yeah, his I name did. was. <laughs> I just got the, the ticket back to say he contacted her, so, yep. Well, I better understand this line now. And I guess my other thought with wherever those are being replaced is the need there to have that updated system. I can see security-wise, but just the use for what it's used for. You know, I, I think, what does Glenn do? Spreadsheets and a, it's not Glenn. an email. Um, no, whether it is or not, I'm just saying whatever department it goes to, that the, the need is there for it. Right. Yeah. So we're talking about uh, if that would be... One in Kim's office? Uh, yep, if she wants it. One here? No, this is new. No, that's new. This that's is new. Really so nice. I have the one. Yeah. So mine, that's got two ten Robin. on it? That's got ten on it. Kathy, mine, Robin, Wendy Kim's office, and the one in the lobby. Would the lobby need to be updated because that is used really only for... We talked, he and I talked about that and he can explain it. It's one that it's the one that just has vision for people to come in and use. You said it still needs to be updated because it's connected, it connected to the to server, the server. And, it can, and it's connected to the internet. So mm -hmm. we're mandated for mm -hmm. is, is that one connected to the internet as well? You still need to get on the internet to do 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's connected yeah. to the machine. You can't use it. It's not a standalone. It a it's not a standalone machine. There's a connection to that machine to our to our to the server mm -hmm. for the town. So it's going to have to be updated. If it was a standalone machine that had no connection to it, some towns <coughs> they'll take a, a copy of the database and put it on the um, system, and then every so often, <coughs> a dedicated town will mm -hmm. go up there and do an update to it. Uh, meaning they'll do an update to the parcel information or mm -hmm. whatever right, right. is required. Right, we do that one, once a year. We're looking. Update the parcels. No. We do it our all map, the time. Our maps are not updated. Our maps are, our maps are only once a year. Only once. Yeah. But the parcels, is, I mean, the, yeah, the, the tax cards and stuff are done all the time. Yeah. Right. So they're able to access, when you make a change in the tax card in the Server, mm -hmm. they're accessing it. Okay, that's, I'm just, what, I'm just that's where the database is. Right, right, the right. thing along. Right. Yep. Right. There's no computer there. Why not? Yeah. You know, save money. Cut it. Yep. Cut it. Yep. Thanks, Tim. Most most appreciative. Okay. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. If Thank there's you. any other questions, please let me know. I'll be more than happy. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your time. Thanks. Thanks. Nice meeting. Nice to meet you as well. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're pretty busy with the storm. We're pretty good. Snow. Yeah, the snow. We did snow the other morning. I share ice this winter more than probably having two winters were up so far in the winter. But we're pretty good. We're, gonna, we're breaking the weather now, which we need. Give us a chance to get everything pushed back. And <clears throat> it's, uh, it's pretty icy. And if we get caught up with that, we don't have any storms. We get back with more tree trim that we can do. So we have quite a bit of that. We have a lot of done before with a lot of snow. But it's, it's going pretty good. A couple small breakdowns, nothing major, but other than that, it's going pretty good. I've been very lucky, and <clears throat> so uh, I, I just think that one thing I did want to mention that a few of these people that look like on dead end roads, <laughs> that you can have some patience because we can only get there so fast, and we do have a lot of dead end roads. The people are very good, but we have one person that seems to be complaining a lot. I just want to put it out there that just have some patience because. When I have a choice between taking care of the bus routes or the main route, that's what I'm going to do. You know, I just want the selectmen to know that. So let you guys know. There's been a couple issues. With yeah, yeah, there has. Just so you know, okay? Yep. And I spoke to them to care of it. Yeah, yeah. But just to make people aware of it. But other than that, we're just plugging away and trying to keep up with it the best we can. Were you able to satisfy those people? I got a hold of one of them. Yeah, it's good. He, he yep. just, yeah. But the other one has a gap, but I will tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Just to let you know. I talked to people within the last 24 hours who went to the highway yard, got a five gallon bucket of, and put it on their walkway. Appreciate that, what, what you know, that what okay, we can do for the public on that, yeah. you know. No, it, it is. I think it's something that we should do for people. It's right yeah. there for them, especially with the way it is this winter, but any winter to help out. But more, the folks really appreciate that. Good. And I guess everybody's safer, you know, and oh, definitely. more upgrades than they would be otherwise. Yeah. Appreciate it. Agreed. Questions or comments for <coughs> vote agent? Anybody? Thanks, Richard. Thank you. Um, do you have yes. one more thing? But <laughs> you get the propane tank, like there's one out here that Easton wants to pick up, and they can get right to that one. We also have the one down at the rec building, and they were supposed to pick it up last fall. <laughs> okay. And now they want to pick it up. Now they want to pick it up. It's going to take. It's going to take at least a couple hours to shovel for that. No, My I feeling is, tell them I don't want to do it. Good they can wait in the spring. I just want to ask them. Yes, yeah. that's fine. Tell them the spring is fine. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's their problem. problem. It's their tank. We've been calling for them to shovel it out. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Do we have to shovel it out? Why can't they do it? They won't come yet. No, they won't. Uh, and I guess they won't come yet. That's right. Yeah. I just want to get that out. Because I, I was contacted, so I contacted yeah, him, I, and, and it, it was ready to be picked up back in November, okay. and they nice. didn't come get it. So. I think it's fine before. I don't know why they only picked up. <clears throat> right. 
I do have a question for you. I'm sorry, we are going to be going over the warrants uh, later on. And yep. the bridge, the one for the bridge, yep. is the total on that 625 or 640? 625? Yep. Okay. I don't know why I got 640 somewhere. It would be a good idea for the road agent to put some sand down at the transfer station. Would that be, would that help the taxpayers in town? Or? could do it I just <laughs> pose that as a question I don't know if yeah no I we have we've never done it before I just since I've been we've always had the access rate at the garage Bruno I don't I mean and the problem is there too that you're gonna have to have a pretty good pile of it so it just doesn't keep freezing unless we put a lot of salt in it too but if the board of selectmen feel that's something that you should do Wednesday and That's what I'm saying. And we're right at the shop all the time. We keep it stirred up and we keep the bin, you know, great full. And during an ice storm, we have a lot of ice. We even try to dump a, another bucket on the other side because it's really yeah. busy. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty well sanded. All right. At least well, has well been no, he needs the, for people to pick it up, Steve. People to pick it up. To pick it up. while at the oh, transfer station. Oh. And there's a nice area they all plowed right. out, nice and flat. And just, just yeah. a thought of them. Yep. Thanks for the suggestion. Yeah. I, I just see a complexity in trying to keep that fresh so people may actually get to shovel into it. Yeah. Okay. Without loading it with salt. Yeah. Further questions for the road agent? Thanks, for, thanks again, Richard. Thank you. Um, do you have a game tonight? A meeting at 7. Okay. We're, we're, we're going to be done at eight uh, at 7.15 tonight because we're so efficient. Um, the, the agenda is What's the, bet the, on that one? the fire department. <laughs> Chief. Things have been fairly busy, just but you know, nothing huge. Just people forgetting to clean the chimney still and catch on fire and sliding off roads, not feeling good. Trees and wires falling down, stuff like that. No major breakdowns or issues. Uh, on the emergency management side, Chief just wanted me to mention that the the plan has been done and back for comments. Like Darby said, Darling's comments are in, his are in. All comments are due Monday. Friday, I thought. I did mine my up this good, morning. Good thing he got his in already because he was thinking they're Monday. <laughs> Is that the mitigation? Yeah, yeah. 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 Just a quick question. Uh, Chief Colcord reminded us about if we, we got a burn pile since the ground is at least finally uh, now. got some snow right to, at it. to make the, the call the dispatch <clears throat> address which side of the building you know we're in the property to let them know um, is there a wind speed that you would want us to check it with National Weather Service before we started torching stuff or do our best it's pretty hard to say because it's windy in one part of town and not in the other. Yeah, that's true. And it depends where it is. You know, it's in the middle of the fields now. And, yeah, common sense. Yeah. Although yeah. you don't need a weather. Never mind. <laughs> it makes it burn better. That's how we get going. I like say, long as it's not next to your building. Here. Burning the brush would be a good idea. You know, your neighbor's house, maybe not so yeah. much. Yeah, just you know, you. it's that far enough away from building. It's amazing when we do permits that some people think the width of that pay, pay, table is 20 feet. It's, like <laughs> it's a 25, isn't it? 20 feet of some little critter, maybe. <laughs> questions for Chief? Uh, questions on some public? Thanks. Uh, Dan, I, I do have a question. Are you going to have a number for us? Because we're going to have to put together for our budget hearing. The warrant said 46000 right? Right, That's what that was the numbers he gave us last time he was here. It was okay. total of 430000 with 46 coming from fund balance. Correct. Right. And then I mean, uh, the coming from, sorry, from, yeah. from taxation. Yeah. Right. And eight, seven, three, eight, four from. Okay, well, I just then, didn't yeah. know if you had the number. <laughs> no, because we need to get closer. But, but that is the intent, is to come to town meeting with the number. Right, but we need to have <laughs> a budget number. Right, to that's the budget do number. Our, to do our budget yes. and, and figure out where all the money's come from. And that's the number we should use yeah, for I that. Yeah, I think we, yeah. we saw that in the reading material. Okay, okay. I just uh, okay. went out the door and went, oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Other questions, comments? Uh, police is next. I'd like to thank uh, 
Chief Littlefield for his um, comment uh, making fun of all the old people about CD ROM. But proceed, I, sir. I really wanted to say I'm quite impressed with the questions you asked, and actually, the solid state drive. And yeah, I was making crap. <laughs> <laughs> I provided the <coughs> stats from last month in your packets. Um, continuing to look into policies surrounding holiday stipend, reached out to other agencies and nobody really has a clear defined stipend more than what I've already explained to everyone here. Um, so it's generally just aligned with the policy, personnel policy of, you know, that they'll be compensated for these at eight hours straight. I actually reached out to some people in the Managers Association that I belong to with, sir, about that. Good. So I haven't heard it back yet, but I just did it today. So maybe we'll get something from there as well. Because it was in the personnel policy, I thought maybe I'd I, I originally reflected that as like a $6,000 increase to the budget um we could probably shave it down i mean and really that i'm going to talk to kathy but um we'd probably bring that down even to like five thousand or so it depends because some of that money is to correlate with you know paying for retirement um you know medicare and all that type of stuff but the retirement portion is only applicable to some and not others depending on how that's paid out so we're gonna have one that's applied to and one that's not. So that would that would change that bottom line. I'll get you a copy of the state in Hampshire what's in their contract, how they pay out their holiday pay for holidays too, what, what their stipulations are and how okay. it's paid, whether it's a time and a half, like if you work 10 hours on the holiday, you don't start your overtime until after you've completed your eight hours, you but you also get your holiday pay for the holiday. So, so what some, you get is you get time and a half for the whole day. It's on a holiday for whatever hours you work. And then you get eight hours of holiday pay and straight pay. That's the states. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It's. But there's also, I saw it there's also some stipulations. That's full time. If you're part time or seasonal, That's you have to work the day I before, the day after, or you have to work either the day before, or the day after, something like that. So I'll get I'll get her a copy of that too. Yeah. I mean, generally the consensus I've come up from the departments I've talked to is. X number of holidays, times eight hours, times rate of pay, and that's how it's, it's done. And there's no allowance, you, you work those holidays, you know. Not at an overtime rate, you just work them at a regular. You work them at a regular, regular rate. rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially, that stipend offsets those to, to reflect that <coughs> added rate, working the holiday. But that's one department. We have to spread right. that out um, through the rest of the departments that work holidays, like highway yeah, department. They really work every day. And but highway department doesn't work holidays unless it's a storm and you get cold. Well, but I say then it's overtime plus. But so I wonder how the state works. That's, that's if, what the state. So you don't normally work a holiday. <laughs> no. But if for some reason they call you out, that's what you're talking that's about. That's right. How does it work for state employees who actually have to work? Is part of their schedule, like if they're working okay. three on, three off, three on, three that, off. That, you're right. That's a good point. That, yeah, that so it's completely be, different. That's, that could be different. That's what's in the contract. That's a good point. Different. I didn't think of that. Yeah, that it's completely different. But I say, yeah. but that's what we need to look that at straight different. across. Yeah, that's why you can't do it across the board for every department. Right. But, but you can't offer it to one department that without like, compensating other departments that have to work on. The holidays. other departments are getting compensated. They're working for time and a half plus. Whatever. What are they? If no, if right highway now, gets right. called out on a, on Christmas Day, the plow is storm. Right now, I don't think uh, Kathy would know better. Uh, you will get it's your holiday time. pay. Yeah. Time. Eight hours of holiday straight pay. Time. Straight. Straight, straight time. time. Yep. Yeah. And then um, your hours that you worked, and all of the hours for the week, unless they were That's sick. The if someone were right. sick, then yeah. all of the hours for the week. Would be forty regular, anything about forty. So they are getting time compensated. And a half. Right. The way the police departments working is, they're not getting compensated. They'll work uh, Thanksgiving. No, no, they should be getting. They're getting the same pay that the highway department they is. Get they're getting paid. Time. No, they're not. He, salary doesn't. Salary, they're getting. They, We're talking they about work, the so. They get. They work Thanksgiving. And for working Thanksgiving, now you can have Saturday off. We're going to right. give you Saturday off for working Thursday. That's how it's worked. And you that's not holiday. compensation. That's a day off. No, for they, they, still, they don't get their holiday pay? 
that the way that uh, the chief has been able to work it is rearranging the schedule right. so that if you work Thursday, schedule. you won't work Friday because someone else is working. So maybe they worked the holiday, but they're going to get a compensatory day off. Right, they're okay. not getting yeah. time and a half for anything hey. for the holiday. Well, the eight hours of paid right. holiday. They may have their Wednesday. holiday on Friday. If right. Thursday was a holiday. They may have their holiday on Friday and not work and be paid for that day. Correct. Right. Right. But you're only getting one for one. You're not getting time and a half plus holiday pay. Follow right. what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. Well, the unless students. they're scheduled to work. I mean, he's been scheduled to work. If a, if a patrol person worked on the holiday and he didn't give them another day off, then they'd be compensated the same way. They'd be getting their holiday just like the highway department was but it's been that's been one of the challenges for the chief and his coverage of the department is trying to schedule things and be like all right well the holiday came now you have to take a different day off you can't have a set rotating schedule so it's a challenge right. and it doesn't answer the ones where the holidays, holidays fall on their days off right. this is a not eknotty problem and probably will take some boilerplate from other places yeah, to discuss and have it laid out in front of us. To we we I have all the facts from, from I'd Kathy. So you find the right of policy internally that is agreed upon by this board. But Great. If that's a piece, that's what we need to do. Sure. I feel that's where we we're kind of aimed towards. Um, speaking of non-germane questions, um, we have to consider. So I'm going to have to vote on petition warrant articles from the nonprofits. Um, one of the heartening things that, that I haven't asked about in the last year, or however long it's been, is the domestic calls, on which seem to be headed, which seem to be far fewer than they were for a number of years here, which is heartening uh, to all of us. There's at least one uh, town department, town service provider, who is who makes use of ref referrals to uh, starting point um, and um, it would be important for me to, to to have knowledge if the police department finds that nonprofit um, important to yeah I mean I, I can't speak to whether the town contributes to nonprofits or not I won't no. speak to that but you know from our sense of use of the agency I mean there are only uh, domestic violence advocacy in the area so we will refer to them you know have victims refer to them uh, we also have a protocol for um, it's a lethal uh, lethality assessment protocol essentially that we work through with every victim it's a series of checks box check boxes um, and basically we have to call into starting point so we utilize them we try to connect them with the victims sometimes they want the help sometimes the victims will deny it but that's you know part of our protocol is to make sure that they're offered the assistance and the services so on and so forth they they do have a wide range of services um, including providing housing providing transportation court assistance you know they'll walk along somebody the whole court process and um, all that type of counseling so on and so forth so they do provide a lot of services they are the um, you know they're the only agent, you know, agency in the area that does, does provide that service I, I, I was just curious as, as to if your department uh, more or less tend to make, make use, especially in light of the direction that you seem you seem to be going with your statistics which is you know safe and nice yes sorry to... further questions for chief uh, the only other thing i just wanted to add was um the sergeant's been in training all this week to become the instructor for the the law enforcement against drugs the lead program which is the program that's really growing um exponentially uh to take over really what dare has done for years um so we spoke about this last year when we sponsored it and introduced it into the Brett school for the eighth grade class as a initial pilot program um, Lisa Remick has been the at the forefront of moving that forward with the area uh, agencies and schools she has actually moved up the chain of command in that whole uh, system or business company whatever they are 
and um, she's no longer the instructor. She was the instructor last year. We, we participated in the um, sessions, uh, but she was the lead instructor. So she's no longer the instructor. We, the sergeant actually will become the new instructor for our school. Um, so she's actually getting certified this week. And tomorrow, I think she's teaching at some elementary school in Tilton, actually, uh, to wrap up her class. Um, so that's really great for us. Um, and we're looking to expand that program. This year, again, we're doing it in eighth grade. I think in coming years, we're going to be growing it to other grades as well. So as the program sort of evolves and grows, um, the curriculum is written out for different um, age groups and stuff like that. And it's not about, I think I spoke about this before, but um, it's less about teaching kids about drugs, more about teaching kids about making good choices, healthy relationships, and you know, the drug portion is definitely worked into there, but it's, a, it's about, you know, picking that right path. And uh, it's a great program, and it's being widely spread throughout this county and the state and so on and so forth, and it's kind of going to be taking over what DARE was doing for years. So. Good news for us. Did they release the picture before they all graduated then? Because yeah, I think so. Because they sent out the picture. They're 48 from here graduated yeah. and four from <laughs> Texas. They came up here from Texas. Yeah. I'd like to make a motion that we send a, on behalf of the selectmen, that we send a congratulations. She did graduate the program. It was all out there. And I think she deserves a congratulations from the Board of Selectmen. I'll so that's my motion. Yeah, absolutely. All those in favor? Uh, discussion? All those in favor? Uh, all right. Thanks. Good. Good. Is the school perceptive to it? <laughs> The school loves it. Uh, you know, the, the school can't get enough of us, and you know, we, we talk with the administration uh, regularly. We also um, work with the safety committee as well. Um, you know, if they if they could have their way, they'd have us there five days a week. Good. Um, you know, but we're not at that level. So. Further questions? Any questions for Chief? Thanks, Chief. Rick. Um, pickleball, adult open gym, high school open gym, we're proceeding to the little break over Christmas. Weather has been real walker this week, but hopefully numbers will bounce back next week. Um, K2 basketball started Saturday. Uh, three, four basketballs ongoing as well as five, six. Um, again, we had one game this week. So we should have had three. We got snowed out Tuesday night and Wednesday night. But, um, the policy is if um, school is canceled, we don't play. If it's an early release day, we don't play. If they um, cancel after school activities, I always talk to the principal, we cancel rec in junior high. If one feels it's not safe, we both do. Yeah. So, um, Squeaky Sneaker started uh, Monday, we'll continue for another nine weeks. Um, at the townhouse, and um, there's a meeting tonight at 7 o'clock at Cook Library for discussion or anyone that has any ideas or suggestions about Family Day 4th of July. Um, so hopefully you get a response from some people and hopefully it'll be a good turnout tonight. So I, I saw that in the exchange too, and yet it seemed to be some interest on people clicking on it. So um, just brainstorm. Anyone that has ideas or suggestions, whether they just have ideas, they actually want to be lend a hand that day, or, or anything. Um, we're open to whatever anybody wants to come up with. So um, that's what I have. Thanks. Questions from Pat? Folks? Thanks. All right. Thank you. Glenn isn't here because we told him the meeting was at six. That's not true. EDC? Oh, uh, yeah. We actually canceled on Tuesday because the weather was slippery. Um, and so we changed it to the next coming Tuesday, which I mentioned right. to Darlene. That's been posted. Um, I have a little bit of a problem. I could maybe tell you now what that is. And that is um, to remind you a little bit of when I met with you all um, with this group, with this Latin group. There was a point where I actually came in and I mentioned some encumbrances that I had done or suggested I would like to do. And then I went forward and said that I'd like to remove out of our budget, um, I think it was uh, it was like um, about fifteen or $1,600. Right, and pretty much half of what? Oh, a lot. Right. Um, and so I thought that was pretty good. Okay, I, 
that we all came together, in fact, the whole board of economic development suggested and worked together with me to what are the numbers that we could reduce. And um, I then, and then Willie had suggested, well, I'd like to take $400 more out. Okay. And so I said, oh, but wait a second. I said, wait a second. Well, I that was out of, not out of your budget, but out of the encumbrance. No, no, you took it out of my budget. Yeah. Uh, you lowered my budget by four hundred more dollars. It was, it was the money you wanted for next year's food, which that is you the encumbrance, not in your budget. Yeah, no, that's not that's what happened budget. actually. But in other words, you, you asked if I would still go down lower to be four hundred more dollars lower, and out of a line that did have some food in it. But I said sure. But I said, but wait a second, I have I I can't do that because I've got an encumbrance. And then Becky reminded me, well, you've got an encumbrance for that, so you don't need to worry about next year. I said, right, fine, take $400. So then when it came time to do the remaining for the encumbrances um, and the $400, the, the printing was encumbered um, in two cases. And then um, Willie suggested that he didn't want to approve the encumbrance that I had already had a contract with for the next two forums. And um, I just would like to say that last year it would have been paid out of last year's budget that I, we tried to keep within and did. And I kept the rules of notifying, getting contracts, getting whatever, notifying the finance group and whatever. So I guess I'm asking if you put it back in because now I, my budget's really $400 less than where it is because I've got a, a commitment to pay what I've got an invoice for, two of the invoices for. That's what I'm saying. So my request is that you put it back in. Well, I think I understand that. I do, but I thought you said each quote quote that you got was two fifty. Two twenty five. Two twenty five. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not even asking you to honor that. It's just I'm saying that to take out four hundred um, and then refuse the encumbrance is a double whammy, sort of. So I'm, that's what I'm requesting. Because I committed it already. I mean, I'd have to go back and really okay. see what we're talking about because I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I've had so many figures. I'm sure you have. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Are there two ways Plus, to solve the problem? To increase the. Are there two, can you solve the problem either way? A, um, increase the encumbrance, or B, we can't We can encumbrance or increase. No, we can't no, encumbrance. Can't encumbrance. Yeah. encumbrance. Yeah. encumbrance. Yeah. Too late. It it by by December thirty first, the year. year that the money is appropriated. And it, it was appropriated. <coughs> it was appropriated in twenty eighteen. So the B side of this record is an additional four hundred dollars. Oh, so you guys voted not to do it in December. Not to encumber the money for her planned events in March and April or whenever they were. I don't right. remember the dates. But yet you also took the money away from the budget. I don't know. Well, I have to go back through. That I, I, that's what I have to go back I thought we had okay. left it in this year's, but I'm, I'm sure didn't you. do the encumbrance, but we'll look. It came out to be around 1960 that you took out of my budget from my 3900 which I thought was a fairly big percentage of money to reboot. But anyway, that was what I was requesting. The board is somewhat upset. To say, well, how are we going to do all this all year? You know, so. <clears throat> Makes sense. Well, I, I still personally disagree with you having food at these venues. I think that's, you know, I mean, as I said at the meeting, with all of that, you would have spent $1,000 on food, and the town as a whole appropriates for the food bank $5,000. So it's one-fifth of the amount we appropriate for the whole town to feed needy people. And I have a problem with that as an expenditure from the town. Don't we expend money for the Christmas party that we feed the town employees? We do. And and how much is that? I don't plan on doing 600. that again either. Huh? 600. Oh, there you go. No, it was no, too no, much no, money. no. It was 200. We, no, we and, have and, a contingency yeah. line there of 600, right. which helps cover the Christmas and, and party I mean, and stuff I'm, like that. And we've already talked I'm about that. I'm going to vote next year not to do that. I, I, we're in tough times. I think that that is something <coughs> I would rather see the money go to needy people. We had five forums last year. Okay. And part of that money was for, as, as you said about the stipends, which you said don't do that. We were trying to say thank you for $10 gift certificates, and that's all was under it. It wasn't food. So. so you took, 
um, out of the space equipment and food line, it was twelve hundred. It's down to eight hundred. So I think that's where you took the four hundred. That's where you that you're talking that about. Um, out of for this for next year's budget. So they still have four hundred dollars for food. No, 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 it's, no, that's um, it's air tanks, it's balloons, called heavy microphones, right. oh, all that right, stuff. Right, right, have right. the street fear, don't right. have the street fear. Right. You know what I mean? These right. Balloons. Right. So you had 1,200 in there. I did. Um, and, and, that one, and that dropped to 800. So that's part of the line she's talking about. Plus, you didn't encumber the, the 400 for people from last year. But. So just so just so you talking about the same thing. Would, would the board yeah. wish to... Uh, to um, attend to this proposed amendment of the budget now, or do you want to wait a week until you've done some homework? Or I understand exactly what she's saying, and I don't want to put the 400 back. I think that street, I saw the street fair. It couldn't have rained harder, and the number of people who came was mind-blowing. Yeah. So I think but it's that a, money isn't just for the street fair. Then. That is so that when they have a gathering, as I've been explained, and get the Correct forums. me if I'm wrong. Yes, the forum, mostly. For a forum for Joanne Rainville to come in here and speak on health care in Tamworth or health care in the area or how to keep yourself healthy and to supply um, some food for the participants that might come to that. It's, That's more, than where a, it's more than just that one thing. You to ask me what's the health different forums going to be. Yeah, I have a committee something. that's working on that, so I don't have every detail, but there's enough information from a lot of different sources that are that's for the betterment of how to make it Tamworth friendly, age friendly. And I don't have a problem with any of that. What I have a problem with is putting $200 or $225 worth of food over here for those participants to come in and eat. That's what I have a problem with. Um, you was, know, was that in the form of a motion, Dan? Yes. Is there a second? Second. Discussion. I've had one. Further discussion. So the motion before you is to um, put 400 bucks back into the that line item that uh, Dowling stipulated. Um, under discussion, it sounds like, I mean, you, you made this plan and you, uh, it's planned for next year, and I would not deign to give advice to uh, to EDC how to run EDC, but it sounds like. Um, this probably would not, if it is added for this year for the plans you've already made, it sounds like doing it this time next year would probably not be so grounded. I get it that. I'm sorry? I get it that. Okay. Further discussion? All those in favor of return uh, to amend the uh, EDC budget by $400? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Three to two. Motion passed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, questions for comments for uh, friends of the townhouse? Uh, one of the things we have to discuss is, is some issues with the furnace. Willie can explain it better. I don't. Mel called, said that they couldn't get the temperature of the furnace to bring the downstairs up to temperature. It would run for a while, shut off. And come back on, run for a while, shut off, but it would never get up to temperature. So they called me, and I went down and tried to see if I could find any cause. Several of the cold air returns over the last, I don't know, probably eight renovations to the building have been covered. So they, several of them no longer have cold air return coming back to the furnace. The two furnaces are hooked together. Uh, in some regards for the cold air return. One of them has a cold air return that is 90% blocked off. When I take the back door off the furnace that quits, it runs fine, brings the temperature up, not a problem. So in my theory, there's something wrong with the cold air returns, not putting enough cold air back in. But we shouldn't be running the furnace with the door off. Thus, I think we need to have a technician come in and see if, in fact, there is something wrong with the over uh, the heat <coughs> element in it that is overheating, doing it, causing it to shut off before it reaches temperature upstairs. My 
that's my guess what's happening is there's not enough air moving through it which blows the air out causing it to thermally shut down because it's too hot. And it's the main floor too. Right, right. it's the main floor of the, the building. The upstairs seems to work fine. Yep. You know, you know um, <laughs> but too the, the heat dock, Joel Street has done a bunch of work in this town, highly successful. Oh. We got Pee Wee who's a, a genius at this. Chief Colcord knows <laughs> the, the code because he has it. <coughs> I would think that if we got one of the folks that have served the town to take a look at this, they would probably tell us do we got to do some duct work or we got to put a hole in your floor or to, to do something if this is the cause, but at least they'd have a real good idea about what and how. Well, what's strange about it is the furnaces worked October, November, December, and then this issue. And we would have seen it before because of the you know, where we can control the thermostat with our phones. When was that explained? Has it worked with a door open on a furnace? A door ajar on the... On the That's the only way we can get it to work. That, uh, the oh, door is off of it. But right? until now. It's, it's worked without, with since the since door on. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's been since probably... The middle of November. Yeah. It went in in November. Yeah. Okay. So the question is that we had cold enough periods where yeah, November, yeah. That, yeah. yeah so I mean the only thing that was different and I did talk to my nephew Willie Streeter who said what's changed and I said the floor's been sanded he said check the filters and we, <coughs> we went and we did get new filters and put those in put them on and we thought it was fixed it went up two degrees and then shut off mm -hmm. instead of the one degree <laughs> well, I say we have the person that put the furnaces in here to go ahead and go down and take a look and see what we need. Who did that work? American Air. Peewee. Peewee. Well, it wasn't Peewee, but... But, I mean, it's American it's Air. American That's American what he works for. Okay, because so. we don't have a contract like we used to have with uh, Eastern that they came in right. and service the furnaces and stuff. But we Jesse don't have Lyman. that now. It used to be Jesse Lyman. We, we haven't done it with Eastern, right? Yeah. yeah. It may just but, be But between, 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 we got some homegrown talent. They're serviced every year. Right. They, they, they that was serviced, but I'll have I'll call American Air tomorrow. Okay. Get it scheduled. Yeah. I hope I explained it. Right. Is there yeah. one furnace or two? two. There's two furnaces. But one there's one. Right no. now. Yeah. But neither are independent. Problem. Well, they are. They're yes. independently controlled by thermostat. It's just that the cold air return comes down. Don't ask me why. From the upstairs. <laughs> It comes down and goes into the downstairs furnace and from the first floor into the upstairs furnace and the downstairs furnace. It's, it's just. One of the things I do also have a call in to Andrew Cushing from the New Hampshire Preservation Alliance to see if where the building is on the historical registry where it opens up the two different grants that the possibility of writing a grant because there's a lot of duck work to nowhere <laughs> or duck, wear, duck work that just ends with a cover over it. So to see if, if there is a possibility if they would cover, you know, clean out the dead pipes. Did that building ever have uh, floor heaters, you know, the grate in, in the floor and that's where the heat was pumped to? <coughs> that's how the heat comes out. That's where it comes out. Are there still floor, there's floor bricks floor down along yeah. both sides of the main? And there's only the one place. cold rare air return that we can find in, on, on the main floor. floor. On the main floor. There's yeah. two upstairs. If there's, floor, if there's floor vents, if there's floor, there should be a lot more than one cold air return. Mm -hmm. so, so they're blocked up by sure. him going through the piping downstairs. The, the other thing is, is Mark Federn has been working there this week, and there's a new door. In at the basement, and he was putting on three of the windows today. So, so that'll that will be closed up. And that'll help retain some heat in the basement. Yep. yep that's Maybe that took away the cold air return. Well, that's what I said. I think it's too tight now. Yeah, see? Tighten up that house really, really I mean, there was an inch, inch all the way across. I know, I saw it. Yeah. That's probably what's the cold. 
We've ruined it. We've ruined it. We need another bed somewhere. Oh, my goodness. Put a hole in the door. That's in the window. Yeah, the building cracking. Cracking. <laughs> <laughs> Questions, comments for the friends? Thank you. Uh, administrative report. Yes? Sure. All right. So, see, we're talking about Friends of the Townhouse. They submitted a couple receipts that I gave you copies of. Are we all set to approve those? Yes. I make a motion that we uh, reimburse Castle & Cook $32.80 for ice melt and Mel Streeter $9.99 for ice melt. Second. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Perhaps. Uh, melt by it is cheaper. I'd, uh, <laughs> I'd ent entertain a motion to, um, to have our town administrator to delegate approval of maintenance items there. Um, to the uh, town administrator because it's it sounds like the only th it's not structural it's not it's just maintenance uh, they were talking this afternoon about um, you know an ice chipper to, to where the water pools <coughs> at the bottom of the uh, handicapped accessibility and and stuff like that I think that uh, we can trust we're talking small end items yeah I'll second that discussion all those in favor, are you okay with that? All those in favor? <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't have to wait till a meeting no. to get no. you guys reimbursed for ice. Opposed? 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 One thing that, you know, noticing several times being there after snow, the snow is not cleared from the walk area so that the water drains by. And I'm not sure, I, I should have asked Richard when he was here, but I believe it is the shoveler that is plowing the snow up and it falls back over the curb there and he doesn't clean out right to the curb. And when he doesn't clean out to the curb, the water melts, comes down the street and builds a nice field right in front of the walk because the water can't go by. He needs to be keeping that clean. Did you talk about that when you were down there with him? We did. We met with him. Is there still an issue? Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. well, we were there today, mm -hmm. Castle and Linda and I, chipping away and dumping ice melt on to kind of try and get a trail for the water to go. I wish I did. We're, we're good. I, <laughs> we can give oh, it a hand in it. both safe, let me tell you. We got two, negative two nights and one negative one night and so the ice melt you know below yeah, 20. Well, we've got a little dam we, we've got some dirt and a dam and we're we're getting pretty crafty with us. yeah i would think that a bucket a bucket of uh sand we've got we, that oh, we've got we that, that too we use both on top of your ice melt because <laughs> yeah the other thing one other thing is the snow came off the roof and now it's filled in it's the emergency yeah. The walkway to and the end where they just plot, or then get stuff. shoveled. <laughs> so you know, if you guys are getting, I'm sure you're getting the sand from the the town. No, well, I just get, my husband bought a whole truckload, so I just grabbed oh, the bucket. I'm saying if you could get a bucket, out, why can't the, like for the townhouse, for this this building, if we can't get a bucket of salt from Richard. I think would be cheaper than well, having you to go up and buy it. Can't, we can't use salt on bricks. We need the, the no. ice melt like that's pecs. I do have salt in some furniture here. Okay. We do have here. That's all. Further questions, comments? Thank you. You were saying. Uh, so the MOU um, that was done for the Great Hill Fire Tower. The only correction I've gotten so far from um, Chief Colcourt was that webcam is not the fire department's, it's wireless. And I haven't heard back from Dennis. <clears throat> so unless the, the board has any other suggestions, I'll leave it as is for now. Would you prefer the comments from them? Yes, right. Um, and I did um, hear back from uh, town council regarding the re residency requirements for EDC. There is no residency requirements for a commissioner for economic development. So that appointment hopefully will be signed tonight. That's great. So we want to go ahead and th three times a chum, I guess. 
Well, ahead. I make a motion that we. I don't find it. Hang on. She needs to sign it. She said they sign it when we sign our papers. Can I just do it when we do the signature file? Well, we can sign it then. I can make yes. a motion. We can oh, get that's over. fine. Okay. I make the motion that we appoint John Ferrara, Ferrara. Ferrara. Ferrara as a alternate to the economic development. Okay. Second that. Thank you. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Okay. All right. Uh, the public hearing for the budget. I spoke with Jack Walton. Um, they scheduled theirs the same night. Okay. So, oh, tentatively. Okay. Hold on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. No, no. I like your suggestion. Okay. So, his suggestion is that the school board meets at 5 at the school from 5 to 6 30. We move our sub to 6 30 and meet at the school. So, we're all right there. The same night. Well, maybe have a captive audience that can be there for both of them. Sounds like a plan. I yeah. thought that was a good. I don't know if you. Well, he does it. He's not sure he'll need an hour and a half. Typically, you know, if we if forty five minutes or so. But I wouldn't want to say. You know, we've had a lot of attendance at our meetings this year, so we may have more than usual. So, but by the same token, if you if you notice the hearing at six. six. And we ran over to 6.15, that's okay. Right. If you notice that at 6.30 and we're down a quarter of six, then you can't do anything. Right. right. So I, I, that's what I would think. You know, if you notice you're hearing at six, Perfect. most of the time we're, we're done by then, and if we run a little late, everybody's there everybody's anyway. There so. anyway. Right. And we yeah. both might get better attendance because yeah, well, they'll it be Yeah, well, it makes it easier to... on the people who want to come. They right. Just we'll one night and, or just one go to one or the yeah, other. What's the date, Thomas? July 30th. Um, January, I'm looking at the summer. January 31st. She's ready to go to Florida. Honestly, right? He won't be here. What a good idea. No, he won't be here. I knew he wasn't going to be here. You already know. I'm going to Mexico. What was that date again? January 31st. That's, this sounds like a clever idea. For those of you who routinely attend the, but, uh, the town budget, Hearing, it's which a is Thursday, yeah. It's a Thursday. Really sorry, good sorry. ideas. <laughs> you, you're fine. Re really good ideas. Does anybody have a, a comment about maybe it's not a good idea or maybe it is a good idea? We've had really good attendance yeah. at, you know, every seat's full and the standees for at least for part of the thing, which is, you know, we're all of us are smarter than any of us. And, and that's another good reason probably to do it at the school is because we might have more people that could right, that that could special here. You know, this is a tough year for taxes. Too. Yeah, so um, I think it's a, I think it's a good wise idea. Did, Thank did you. Did you already did you already reserve the room? I will. Do you need me to do it as well? Uh, for my section? I can do it. I'll just you know for the go whole night. From the whole night yeah. In the cafeteria, right? Cafeteria, yeah. Okay. And that's done at seventeen hundred and five? We're going to start at five, right? We're going to move from five thirty to five, and as I say, I'm recommending. I'm going to do six. Do six, yeah. and yeah. You're going to go to five, and you're going to go to six. Well, you'll stay. We were supposed to be at six. six. You'll stay at six. Gee, what a good idea! Thank you. Well, thank you. That was it. That was it. That was a really good idea. Yeah. Um, so I believe I sent you the waiver, the re waiver request from um, the congregational church. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you guys want to make a motion on that? He's, they would waive the fee to clean security, <laughs> security deposit. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we know where they are. Yeah. So right. I, I make a motion that we uh, waive those fees for the Congregational Church. Second. Discussion. All those in favor? Well, wait a minute. Nope. I think we should wait. No offense. They're a nonprofit. They're the church. We waived them for the YMCA, which is not even in this town. Why are we charging them the 15? I agree that they said they were going to pay the 15. They if they want to make a donation to the fr to the f friends, let them. But I say we waive the whole thing. I like her motion to your motion. So I second her motion. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't. It wasn't in the request. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll. I mean, we've done it for all nonprofits. There's I'll withdraw my motion. All right, and I'll okay. make a motion that we waive all fees for the congregational church. I'll second that. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Okay. Hey, no, what are the, we doing? Would the, would the board be interested in identifying the church in the future the, to waive the fees? No? Uh, you know, they, as, as the um, 
explanation said that there was a regular, uh, for a long, for many years, there was a regular Thursday meeting at that uh, noon time that the church did. In fact, the church, um, before they got their AED, they had access to the, um, and before they had heat in that building, they used the lavatory. And before that, it was where it was, somebody preached it. That, absolutely. So, strong tie, but if, that's, yeah, if nobody's interested in that, we can do them piecemeal. Yep. I got a question. So do you mean that I have to do it every time I want to use the building? Are you talking still about Gary? And they, that they're still okay. good. So every time I, because I told him it'd be a one-time thing for this year. Right. Okay. Yeah. So no, he doesn't have to do it. Changes. Nothing. Right. Nothing. Right. If he wants to use it in the future. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. But they've got to contact you and let them know. Oh, sure. Right? Yeah. yeah. You've got to let us know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it did come up last night at the sewer meeting. Is the board okay with asking town council to do a draft? Or in articles to have for discussion for next week's meeting. I think that's a wise idea. I don't. I've got more questions now than I had after before I attended the meeting last night. <laughs> this isn't going to cost the town anything, but it's going to cost the town council now to put a warrant article together because if we don't put the warrant article article together, there's going to be no warrant article because they're not going to seek a warrant article. I, I would think that there's. From last night's conversation, I would think there's going to be a warrant article from somebody. They made it pretty clear, I thought, that he said they were not pursuing a warrant the, article. The TVA would not, but I have an idea that the... Well, the I'm going on last night, and it brought forth more questions when they were asked the question, why can't you hire somebody to oversee this system as a supervisor, which is basically what the town's going to end up doing. The comment was made they can't have a quorum. If they haven't had a quorum for meetings, then how did anybody vote? to sell the system to the town. They had a quorum with their directors. The, but their directors do not even follow the, the actual agreement that says you have to be a person on the system. So yeah. it's going to come. Who Except is? Except for Norman. Norman's the only one who's not. Uh, their other board member, Joanne is? Joanne is? How's Joanne on the system? She has a house on the system? I'm sorry? I didn't realize she had a house on the system. She doesn't. She, she that, speaks for this building. No, she doesn't. You speak for this building. Well, yes and no. So there's two people from the same residence that okay. speaks for the building. There's, there's, uh, I'm Cal just concerned. Cal this Bear, has cost this town Cal a... Bear, David Grass, myself, Joanne, and it was Mary Cronin, but I don't think she's uh, still active. And what other issue came that was brought up was the planning board himself, and I don't know if you guys caught this, but what he was trying to explain is that the system can handle high volume flow, as is example why the Lyceum can't hook back into it. So therefore, if somebody decided to buy one of these, I'm going to use the church because it's the biggest building around, and put a 150 seat restaurant in there, they won't be able to run a dishwasher, so it's actually very limiting. So I am concerned that this whole thing, I had more questions last night after the meeting, but I think this town spent an awful lot of money, of town taxpayer money, to come forward on this system when it wasn't going to cost this town anything. That's, and I'm not sure I want to put a warrant on. So what's the other option if we don't take it? Same thing they said. They either, either the town can petition the state to assign someone to run that system, or this town can set in a set of commissioners to run it until something else can be done. Unless somebody can tell me or the attorney can tell us that we're going to get our if this system gets accepted by the town, are we going to get our money back for writing the warrant article? Can we bill them for that warrant article? Because supposedly we'll be able to bill, and I don't think we can. The other option is um, I write the warrant article because the attorney and DRA approve it before it goes to town meeting anyway. We do that every year. Are you comfortable doing that? No, I don't know. <laughs> I just he told us the three he told me the three the three the three articles we need. Yeah, it's I not just, just one article. It's not one article, it's right. three. And I just three. think and last night budget. brought more questions right. than answers. Right. 
Well, so where are you going to get your when do you, when do you want to get your answers or who do you want to get your answers I from? Oh, well, because we one, need to I guess week. that's one of my questions. He made it very clear, Steve, that they never had a quorum, so therefore could not hire a supervisor to run this system, which is basically what we're, the town's doing. They're going to hire supervisors to run this system. So if they didn't get a quorum, I guess I'm questioning how many of the people, how many of the users on there actually said, "Please sell this system." Because Dan brought up, a, somebody brought up in the audience a very good question. Why would you get rid of something you've got control over if you're going to have somebody else come in and tell you how you're going to run your business, how you're going to run your stuff? Um, I don't think that we can decide whether we're in favor or opposed to a Warren article until we have a Warren article. So my inclination would be if, if Darlene's comfortable enough to, to write the, uh, to make a proposal then a week from today we can decide whether to put that on our behalf on the, a warrant or to leave it to 25 people. But again, it's costing us money because that's pulling Darlene away from writing the rest of the stuff she's got to do with the budget and the daily running of the office. I don't know, that's just my opinion. If somebody makes the motion, I'll vote against I mean, it, but. I, I guess I want to. I wanted to have, I thought we were going to have the conversation next week. But well, that's what I thought we were going to do, we're, we're because we need the people here. Right. We're, we're, we're in a situation where we want to, if we go forward, we want to go forward with correct language and correct in, um, system so that we don't fall down when we get done. And if we put nothing on the warrant as a board of selectmen for uh, an article whether the town wishes to accept it, whether we like it or not, is sort of a secondary thing. But we need to also have a budget for that in the warrant so that if the voters do petition it and do, or we put it on and it's accepted, we can expend monies to operate it. Otherwise, we have no budget. We can't do anything. You can't fix the pump. You're done. We own right. it. We can't fix it because we haven't got any money. Mm -hmm. uh, technically, so that that's one of my concerns. Is you know, and in fact, it is going to cost the ratepayers more to have the town operate it mm -hmm. than if they paid somebody a stipend to run it as it's being run now. In my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. But. Please. As a tax fighter, I'm asking the select board to proceed with caution. We all saw what happened in Chicago. No cost to the town. And we're paying a substantial amount every year to maintain the Chicago project. I'm asking you as a tax fighter to please proceed with caution. Make sure all your T's are dotted. Your eyes are dotted, your T's are crossed. Please. I'm asking you that as a That's what I'm trying to do. Thank you. To be honest, I mean, that's why we need to have it. Whether you're for it or against it, please proceed with caution. I mean, if you want to put something together, again, I didn't think we were discussing this tonight because you no, had actually I mean, mentioned last night. So right, if you yeah, want no, to put something want together, be my guess. But to have something here so that we can so discuss we, and, it. And the great. players that you need to speak to. Who do you want to speak to? Who do you need to get information from? If you have more questions. Well, I guess whoever wants off their board wants to forward you minutes so we can see when the actual vote was taken to sell this system. I mean, that's what threw me last night when they said they didn't have a quorum to hire a supervisor. Well, we did contract with a couple of three folks. They have contracts with people to do work on the system, but they don't contract someone to manage it. To manage it, as Norm said, somebody else besides members of the TVA who they would call on Christmas Eve to go deal with it. So they should have, because this works like most things work, they should have had an annual meeting at some point where every member that is serviced on there comes to a meeting and says, okay, they've listened to all this, we want to sell this. They should have had a quorum vote of all the users that says we want to sell this. Not a quorum vote of the board, a quorum vote of the users. Because they all own it. Because they all own it. So then my second question is, since we're talking budget, 
do we get to increase the treasurer's pay because and how do we do that legally so that it goes back to those people if our treasurer ends up having to do all that extra work concerning this system because she has to keep a separate set of books and everything so no elected treasurer so far had to keep two. Well, I hope they didn't have to keep two sets of books. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now she's going to have to keep two if, sets of if books. If we're going to do this for consideration Thursday next, who would we like to have in, in I, attendance? Do you want to email me your questions? Well, no, I or think you can ask Matt that question because he's the okay. one who's going to have to answer that. Or we make the decision that she's going to pay more, get paid, more paid, oh. and then we've got to determine how we're going to do that. Because that creates a whole other paperwork mess. To explain it to town meeting, well, this amount of money is going to be raised from taxes, but this isn't. <laughs> this is going to be in lieu of income, and then a set of their minutes, where the vote was taken of all the members of the TBA. So if we have something to consider Thursday next, uh, who would we like in attendance? That's up to whoever wanted to come. People in the audience, that's when we were going to discuss this, and we said I'm sure once 17th. it's on the agenda, there will be right. a lot of people here that's going to Do we work. want representatives from TDA to be yes, here? Yes, absolutely. Do we want their legal person to be here? Do we want, I don't know, is, is there somebody that if we're going to, if we are, if we have something to consider and we need information to at least start to consider something, who do we need here? We don't need mass search, but, but to have Ken Cargill and... and uh, well, I don't think we need Ken here. The people of the public, unless they have more questions of Ken being here, all the only qu other questions we have is what I just brought up with Norm. But I think the public that was there last night asked when this was going to be discussed at a selectman's meeting and we told them the 17th. Yeah. So whoever shows up, I guess. Okay. And the 17th and is pretty much here. when we have to have our budget all together. Right. So that we can yeah. properly notice it for the 31st. So further discussion? Well, we have the 24th. We have two, we have no, because that would put you on the 34th, and there isn't any 34th. Don't we have to have a 10-day notice? Well, notice it, but the, 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 the budgets themselves, they don't have to be out. That's the that's the budget before town meeting, not for the public hearing. They will be out a couple of days ahead of time, for sure. I thought all but. the information for the hearing has to be out in time for when you, put, when you notice it, yeah. that they have to be available. We had it's a week. Ten, it's not 10 days. It doesn't, it doesn't two two days. Yeah. I mean, two for the for the last two years. <coughs> last two we years. Had them out and they weren't out. They were never out before that. Right. right. Well, I mean, it used to be so up, quite, until, but, up until up until two years ago. You walked in here and they were sitting on the right. thing. So the folks who are very good at this in town did a lot of legwork right then and there and successfully. But in the last two years, though they were they were available. Uh, well before that, so yeah, if we got we'll any, work on that. Yeah, if if we've so. got to get this yeah. done, if we can if we can do the budget, that would be even better. Good. Next week. Good. Um, and the last thing, two things. I did request in writing uh, the list of polls and addresses from EverSource. Haven't yeah. heard back from them. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to go around. But That's fine. Um, and then we did um, check mm -hmm. to see the cost. For printing here that we've been giving to each department, yeah. I think we'll just forget that. Yeah, just okay. going yeah. forward. Seventy-one dollars. <laughs> we're we're going to finish. One hundred seven dollars. Yeah, we're going to finish the year. We'll, we'll finish mm. next year. I mean last year, but cost, going forward, it cost us more than that. It's like a it's like the paper. It's like a table. A, a check for a dollar fifty that cost fifteen bucks to process. Yep. No. There is new requirements too for, um, which is not on the paper, for grandfathering the retirees who are the part time retirees. Mm -hmm. So, um, once a year reporting and job description. In this new year, the, the retirees that have been working all along, they used to only be able to work for two hours a week, no matter what. Right. Now, they, now they can work an hour per year. Per, per year. Um, and they're reporting, they're reporting separately. So that's all been taken care of going forward this year as well. But it's only as long as they're in, in the that, job that position, position as exactly. of January 1st. Should they change jobs, they revert back to the new standards, which exactly. is roughly 24 hours of pay period. Yeah, but can, can't they do that job 
for another municipality? No, no. If you it's leave be your job and right. that you're in, or your job changes in stat in yep. demands or whatever, you fall under the new regs. Fair enough. And the reporting now, that was, uh, the employer has to report once a year now. Yep, yep. And the report has to be in by the 15th with the uh, It won't be until February sure of 2020. Yeah. We, we have to report all of calendar year 19 in February of 2020. So each pay period I'm tracking the hours for the three Oh, staff. I thought the letter I got said the first report has to be in by January 15th to 19, and then you will start yearly reports after that. That was probably for the grandfathering status. Just to okay. initial, the done. initial one. Okay. That was for the status. Okay, so we have a full board. So we're going over to the next budget. We've been putting off. We, we, uh, oh, we, um, we, we don't want to think that. Oh. The the first one Wait, what am I doing? Right, about the manifest, so Thank we you. won't have to oh, sign a check see. register anymore. I'm confused about that. Um, it's okay. We'll have it in our signature. Okay. So, but you're going to list the check totals on one and the manifest on the other, and just require one signature of both. That's all I wanted to see because I hadn't seen it. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, the next item is the board of selectmen. Um, budget. Yeah. Budget, yeah. Budget, budget. Oh, great. Someone other thing? No. And the only, I think the only thing came up was to read, that there was a suggestion to reduce the stipend for the chairman. No, I had made the motion to reduce it even farther, and Dan wanted a full board here before we just, before we voted on it. I thought we had more or less agreed to that first one, but because um. it was my feeling, if we're cutting everybody, we ought to cut ourselves a little bit deeper too. But that's just my opinion. I know how to cut it six thousand. Go back to a three-member board. Put it on the warrant. <laughs> <laughs> um. I have a bit of hesitation about um, reducing the, you know, if, if we did a percentage reduction over all of them to reduce the the, the, um, the um, chairman's, chairperson's, whatever it is, stipend, which is not huge money, um, but, you know, the, there's certain stuff that uh, chairman is supposed to do, including showing up more frequently, perhaps, in, ter in terms of time and uh, you know I I got mine and I'm hesitant to vote that the next person in line doesn't is, is, doesn't get the consideration so if there's a percentage decrease that uh, would include the selectmen's um, I mean the chairman's stipend I think that's okay but you know it really is um, that there's no way the chairman's mileage is going to get covered because if nobody else will participate in some stuff, it devolves on the chairman. But, you know, I don't want to break the bank, but and I can understand reducing the compensation. I don't think that's going to make a difference in the quality or number of people who decide to run, especially in this town where volunteers are so um, active and, and important. But you know, if you want to reduce it by X percent including the chairman's uh, stipend, that's okay. I mean, I also know who's uh, senior. <laughs> well, <laughs> on the, we have, we have a five-member board now, and so next year there'll be a motion to appoint someone as chairman, and the, the five members on the board will either decide they want that one as a chairman or not. That's true, but the tr and, tradition has well, been the, 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 the tradition senior. Got broken. The, the tradition has been that the senior member is uh, takes as long as his or her lunch. So what's the stipend for the second now? See, I don't even know. So I think it's seven hundred. Seven hundred for the chair. No, no, I know the five hundred extra for the chair. What's the three? Huh? Three thousand. Minus your token, this and that. Yeah. And of course, when you come on your first year, you get paid differently because you're not on until 
April, April. 1st yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it averages out to 3,000 a year. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, we don't do it for money, do we? No. Um, yeah. But, I, you know, I feel that, you know, we have to have some skin in the game if we're asking everybody else to tighten the belt. We have to tighten our belts as well. I just feel that's fair. But, question, how long has that, you said 3,000? Yeah. How long has that been in effect? Time out of mind. A lot of years. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And every year, um, proposed cost of living increases never affected the select board. Correct. So I, I, I think you guys do a lot of work. I mean, there's a lot of work to be a selectman in this town. I would suggest you guys leave it alone as a taxpayer. Well, I'd say if we can reduce it by 500 and then we work out with the new board, if that's how you feel, Steve, how the chairperson can still get a little extra for all their mileage and the rest of us take a cut somehow. I if think we're all agreeable. here. So I think that's what I'm that I, I understand what you're saying, Steve. You got it, and then you feel bad because the next person. But it doesn't matter because we're all here. We're all going to vote for it and not for it. But I say definitely that the, the chairperson takes his lumps and just gets what everybody else gets and cut it by $500 mm -hmm. and keep everybody else at 3000 And that's fair because if I'll we all vote that. for it, we all understand that you got it, don't feel bad. Right. Okay. Times are changing. Yeah, bonus. <laughs> yeah. You know. So, so I make a I'll motion that we cut it on five. No, but I, I need the one. <laughs> so I make a motion to cut it by five hundred that, that the chairperson gets as a stipend, lowering the budget to. But what I want to know is why are we appropriating um, sixteen thousand? Sixty-one dollars, mm -hmm. because if that's three thousand each, and then five thousand, uh, five hundred extra, that I doesn't get seven hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Yeah. No. I don't know. It, it's in the it's in the book here. Hang on, I have to break it down. Because of that way you're paid, it doesn't yeah. equal out Something. until the following year. Yeah, because but one year if somebody goes out, no, but every year it should be the same. Here's a spreadsheet. You can hey, not for nothing, but I got mine this year and I bought my Tesla, and I think it was seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's an odd breakdown. It's an odd breakdown. So it doesn't really come to fifteen hundred, fifteen thousand. Yeah. Oh, we get nine dollars and twenty-six cents a month. <laughs> yeah, but this is the first year. It shifts the chair. Every year after. That's what the chair gets extra. It's nine dollars and, and sixty-two cents a month. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's different. It doesn't explain it well enough. Yeah, it doesn't show it. Well, folks, have a discussion. What do you want? Selectman paid, and if you don't want to, uh, somebody make a motion. I already made a motion. The selectmen stay the same. So how much the, money are we going to put in the budget? Whatever, deduct whatever the stipend is that. So uh, you want a three grand for a selectman? Correct. So there's five. Yeah. That's a 15. 15. 15. End of story. That's the number I got here. Sounds like a plan. Do we have a second? I did. We got a second. <laughs> Further discussion within the point thousand. Further discussion besides what Willie just murmured. <laughs> He's a murmurer. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. That goes to I so that will change the FICA no. Medicare. It will. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I was gonna you going down the list because I just want to make sure I have all the other changes that we well, we thought we wanted the whole board yeah, to be go ahead, part. Go ahead. So the next line was the training, and you know, this year we used under a hundred dollars, as far as I can see, and there was seven hundred and fifty dollars as a request. Yes, it's nice to train, and I thought dropping it down to two hundred dollars would be sufficient. I didn't have to spend it, but. The one question I have is the Municipal Association, when they do their new selectman training? That's free. It is? That one's free. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. The it's, budget? It's, it's free, <coughs> but we all benefited from the fact that it was in Moulton Borough. And two years ago, we benefited from the fact that it was in North Conway. But if, you know, yeah. if it comes where it's in Keene, 
Portsmouth and Triangle Drive, then we'll have a certainly two member. Go ahead. The so one that's the one that costs money is the budget workshop, right? Which is very beneficial to go to, if, especially if you're a new selectman. Um, like last year, that was ninety dollars, I think. Um, and if you want to go to the NHMA conference at all, which some board members went in the past, yeah. that. The, the <laughs> and there's a charge for that as well. I originally thought we put this down to 400, but I thought we had our, I thought we had already reduced it already too. Well, I mean, I made notes, but I didn't make any changes yet because we still wanted a full board. So 17 was 600. <laughs> this year's budget was a thousand for 2018, and in the book I have it says 750, and I wanted to bring it lower than that. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to. I'm just trying to. The the. And HMA uh, changes in right to no law, which somebody ought to do, is 90 bucks. Um, the road scholar, the road thing, that's a 90 buck thing. It includes publication that you know ends up here. And this year we spent 69 dollars and 85 cents. Yeah. Well, so what you we said we had three new members. Yeah. So I mean that's why we. You put it up we for that, but we hoping that somebody would go. Yeah. Well, there's so much online that... Right. So what did you say you thought we put I it down? I thought we put it down to 350. I'll do 350. I thought we did, Let's go too. 350. 350. Sold. I wish I was an auctioneer. Is there, is there other... Next line? Next line is newspaper advertising, and uh, budgeted last year was uh, $300, and uh, the actual was 1000 Two hundred and thirteen dollars and fifty cents. I thought six hundred was put in there. I think hopefully we won't have to do a lot of advertising. <coughs> what what gets you on that is uh, is personnel. You know when you when you hire and you got to do it big time. Um, and the other other subscriptions. Last time we spoke, you kept the same because that's all the the dues yep. and such. And then two hundred. We brought the contingency down to actually 400. And I want to zero it out. What are we you using it for? It. Um, what was it spent on this last This last time I think it was the Christmas luncheon and I don't remember what else. <coughs> we had something in the <coughs> state that we, we took out. I know that. The Christmas wreaths. I mean, it, and it, the wreaths, thank you. I mean, it, if you. That's almost like a miscellaneous line, and we've told other departments we don't like miscellaneous lines very much. I said the same thing. Oh. It's up to the boys. Um, Do you make that a motion, Molly? So you can discuss it. Is there a motion to zero out the contingency line? Is that what you want to do? I'll make the motion. Second? second? Is there a second? Second. Discussion? What? How much is the contingency line? I don't have it. It's 600. It's 600. She dropped it to 400. And, you know, it hasn't been spent. Well, it's, it's spent. It's spent on food and wreaths. Yes. And if the building needs a wreath, that should be able to be coming out of the uh, maintenance budget, I would think, instead of the. What's left for training? 350. What's left in the training? No, what, what after our motion, it's 350. 350. You know, there was some, um, for the past two years at least, there were some things taken out of the, um, the chairman's stipend. <coughs> at the volition of the chairman. A year and a half. If, if there is no demand for contingency, you know, you, you can't have a petty cash account. So, right. okay. well, let's go back to the to the Christmas party that we have for the in town employees. Mm -hmm. Because of the medical emergency, I wasn't able to attend. Was it a good showing this year? I mean, how? No, no. this year not too. Far. There was a ton of food that had to be dealt with afterwards. It was a bad weather day, too. Yeah, it was yeah. a bad weather day. Um, but the years, the last two years, well attended. 
Yeah, I know. I we'd was be able better to off to do something in the summertime outside, a hot dog thing or a hamburger fine. thing. Was this held outside? No. Yes. I'm saying, you know, okay. a, a, to make sure. a, a family day for town employees where they could bring their families and everything, not just employees, and, and do something like that. With, you know, in Remick Park or something might be a different way to do it. But I still think, you know, <laughs> I think Sorry. it was always nice that Sorry, we get together with the town employees for Christmas time and show a little bit of Christmas spirit. And, and what did it cost us? $250? No. 400, 400 no. and something for no. the food, wasn't no. it? No, it was 200 and something. 278 maybe? <coughs> <coughs> half the food. Yeah. Or more wasn't huge. I think we can still do that, but I would like to fund it a different way. Yeah. How might that be? I said if he wants my credit card now, I'll give it to him. I just think that we can fund it. If we're into our employees, we can fund it a different way. I heard that. That's on film. Yeah, it is. You can pull it back up. So we're going to eliminate the line. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The motion is to eliminate the contingency line. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Um, I oppose. I oppose. Uh, yeah, me too. Three? Yeah, I think motion, so. Motion two fails. to three? It's three to two. The uh, motion fails. We keep the contingency line. Oh, so how much you want in it? How much? Whatever. Whatever. 600 bucks? No, I think you can take a little bit out of there. You brought it down to four. Bring it down. I make a motion to bring it down to four. Is there a second? I'll second that. All those in discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Four to. Uh, did you vote? I'm going to vote no. Three to two. Motion uh, passes. <laughs> that only took an hour. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. That's down to 400. 400. 400. Yeah. Further board of selectmen. <coughs> Data processing. Responded to the um, recommendation to um, check this. I'm assuming that we got the answer as to the five computers <coughs> from, uh, that uh, Tim Mallard <coughs> today. Uh, when, it, when does the contract with the current provider expire? Um, off the top of my head, I'm not sure. Okay, it, 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 it's, it, you know, that's a, an area that you might want to get an IT for we actually, every once in a while. Right, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, he's been doing this for two years. Yeah, I think it's next year you said yeah. his contact was up that it might yeah. add to RSP again. Yeah. Um, I think the payroll processing budget is... That got moved, but wiped out. Right, so We moved the 800 to the top. Right. to pay for the license. Right. Um, we had to keep $100 in there because they did the first week's payroll, mm -hmm. the first pay period this year. Um, and so the only question again was the, the hard drive upgrade. Right. <coughs> so that, that's attended to. Other um, Data so there's a reduction yeah. there uh, in the data processing. Uh, yeah, the upgrade ended up being moved. Three, two, uh, what line you on, Willie? Well, I'm just I'm just trying to see how much we actually have reduced the data processing by. Well, we did three grand today. But we identified is that software oh, support? Do you have, do you have the does that still sheet? exist? See, so far we've reduced this budget by $2,307. Mm 
you said 2,307. Thank you. Further for line items you'd like to take a look at? Next. Done? Done. And then the last one is I apologize for the assessing. Last week I had the wrong contract in front of me when I was trying to explain the assessment piece. Um, but you broke it out on the new sheet that you sent us, did you not? He ended up doing a new contract, so the 20... I can't put my hands on it right now. Hang on for a second. Okay. Um, the 20, one you sent had 20000 in the... It was 26000 in the top line. Right. That included the yearly assessing work and 20% of the town. That's... So it was 26 and change. Right. Um, and then the reval piece was the 2,500 $2, total. 25,000 $25, total. Right. Even. I meant to say even. Um, and then the mapping is the 2,000. Yes. Right. Sure. So the big, you know, the, again, so the this big, number down at the bottom, the 29, is totally wrong. Oh, yeah. We've given you new sheets. No, there's new really. sheets. I knew that. <laughs> the ones we're emailing you. <laughs> we emailed you. So that twenty thousand on the top line includes a twenty percent pickup. Right. Yeah. Not statistical, but full 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 rebound. Full rebound. Yes. Plus the metro. Yes. So in five years we'll have the total reval of the town. Yes. No, I you know I don't know how much it would change. You know, if we find with this 20% that things are really changing, maybe we could next year's budget pick absolutely. it up. Absolutely. You could absolutely yeah, yeah. do yeah, that. Good point. point. That's a great. And the, the other thing about doing it next year, well, this year coming with who we're using, is we are running two systems right now. Yeah. And that's all part of the upgrade to Avatar and make that change during our reval year, which is 2019. This has been in the works. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, but actually, I agree. Yeah, that's a, that's I a hate great to wait idea. Five years, no. But, but I'd like to see the first year. See, see and then, how it yeah, and then let boost that's it a, up. That's a great idea. Maybe do yeah. fifty percent if we see that it's going to. Plus, we're running out of money. Yeah. yeah. No, do you I make agree. a motion before I want to go home. I make a motion that whatever I said. Then we do. We stick with this year's budget. Then we, we go in along with the yeah. budget item. I don't think 50, we need a motion. Fifty-four thousand. Yeah, yeah, we just go to Okay, good. We don't need any motions. Great tonight. idea, though. I, I'm, I'm, I'm all in favor of going along with it. it is. Finger from time no. that we're going to do that. And then you know, Becky, maybe I misunderstood last week. I thought we were holding off on the help officer budget because you wanted to see how many hours. Well, I thought Willie had cut it to 650 and we had agreed because we had that whole discussion, so I don't know. So I didn't make any changes. Um, I thought we were bringing up again because we wanted to see how how many hours the health officer here. Well, it'd be so nice to have some data to know what we're paying for. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that we were going to have Chief Coker here to so, ask him some questions. Yeah, he, he was here earlier. But um, he said, he, you know, but some of it interfered, not interfered, but worked in conjun conjunction with his fire department stuff, so. You know, I would like to ask a question, too. I know that there's a person that has expressed an interest in doing it oh. who is probably qualified. Just for giggles, I'd like to run that by and say, this is what we're offering. And if he starts laughing and walks away, maybe we should. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's not an offer. It's just... Mm -hmm. And yeah. again, my point is that then you're hiring for a person, not for a position. Right. Well, if you put it out and you're going to offer something and nobody's going to take it, why even bother? Well, but that's my point, because it's always been a selectman's job before. Up until last year when the selectman that had the position was removed from that position and it was appointed to the fire department chief, so it had always been ran by the selectman. But he got paid to do it. Yes. yes. But not not what's requested now. More what the more what's going back to what Willie had proposed. And I just said because this is a tight year, go back to what we did 
previously because the money is tight this year for the tax. Just payment. knowing that if we can't find somebody to do it, somebody on this board's going to have to pick it up. The, the, the stipend here to four was five bucks. Now it's too large. The, the, what was recommended was too large, which is a substantial increase, but might have increased responsibilities. Or but without any data to know what it is and how much energy is expended. I, I agree. It, it really is. It's hard to nail down because uh, uh, the welfare officer needs somebody to respond today. Correct. If, if they're housed in a, in, if we're paying for housing, which is requires a health officer, <clears throat> there are other situations. Certainly, the school wants somebody when they want somebody, and that they should get it now, not you know, let's make an appointment for three days. So. But if you're talking about the person who's expressed an interest, how may, how are they going to be any more available than the selectmen because they're working too? I'm not saying that they would. But I'm what I'm saying is, you, that's what I say. Yeah. I would just as soon go back to the way it was, get some data, have whoever's doing it keep some data, and find out how many times they're called on, be it a selectman or whatever. But why stipend something you don't know what it's, what it's costing you to begin with? Because by rights, a health officer can go in and say, yes, clean up. But by rights, they don't have, they either have to contact the state or contact the selectman for authority to change the situation. It sounds like what <coughs> Ian just proposed for the um, reval, this could be the same situation to right. do a stopgap, get something done here, and, and uh, it would be inappropriate for me to ask somebody sitting on the board, who, and I would never refer to anybody but her initials or Becky if if they'd be interested in filling that position on a trial basis um, and I have an idea that if someone was interested I, I don't think the board would have much problem appointing them to say I can't think of a more qualified person <laughs> well we don't have one right now so the whole board's the health officer at the present that's time because we accepted a resignation but it sounds like I'll be so if you want to direct like the I'll calls to me that's number. fine I'm sorry if they want to direct the phone calls to me that's fine but you know, right, take it. Need to be officially appointed yeah. right and we don't officially appoint we yeah, yeah, you you recommend the state you to the state, state. right the state does it. that's right so I make a motion that we petition the state to recommend to appoint Becky as the health officer in term. In um, term. Is there a second? I'll second. I'll second. second. All those opposed? Aye. I mean, all those opposed. <laughs> <laughs> all those opposed. Aye. Uh, yeah, I have stayed. I'm not voting for myself. Are any of the, are any the four of us opposed? <laughs> <laughs> are any of the four of us still living opposed? Good. Oh, motion passes. That was zero. Easy. Melanie. Okay. What, what does the deputy health officer do? Get I mean, a phone call from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, wouldn't the deputy be stepping up if there isn't a I, health officer I'm now? I'm pretty sure the deputy would prefer not to be the health officer. She was, that person was appointed because we needed somebody to respond in the absence of not Chief Colcord, but a previous. Right, but so. Well, the deputy it, was put in after the chief was appointed. Mm -hmm. Well, she was. She resigned she was, before the... <laughs> but what I'm saying is, right. by rights, until the state approves the appointment, she is yes, the acting yes, health absolutely. officer of the county. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. But, but they, they I think that should be won't take very long. But, town, but you can use it somebody from another town. Yes, it, to try it this way this year, if somebody yeah. is willing to do it for the minor stipend, mm -hmm. um, maybe, March, maybe a year before hands. <laughs> then, she, <laughs> then Becky can come back and say, you know what, this is a... Too much, you know. We right. need yep. to uh, put some. Oh, okay. sure. So well, it'd be nice for Becky to get some yeah. stuff organized too, and keep paperwork. Oh, I have all kinds of paperwork. That's all right, Dan. Next. Okay. No, not yet. I have a question on that. What's, oh. the question? what's the money on that? Um, what's the stipend? Six hundred. Six hundred. We're gonna leave it at six. I make a motion that we leave it at six. We don't need motions. 
and the supplies you were going to cut. Well, Would you cut the supplies? Change, change what they've got down to 600 bucks. Right. And then you made the deputy 300 that's what I have Go back to what we had last year. How did you have it last year? 250. 250. There you go. Oh, I thought last it was 650 year. total between the officer I and the deputy. Too. That's what I, he had originally said 650 total. Oh. Oh, 400 well, for the officer and 250. I think I, stopped, I, think I stopped, stopped writing it down because you guys are changing your mind too many times. Um, I don't know what year that was. It was a very small stipend. You know it was 500 last year and 250. It was 500 okay. and 250. And 250. So it went up last year. All right, what was it the year before? 500. And that covered the health officer, but there was no deputy. Uh, deputy. Right. Okay, how, how's this motion? Yes. I make a motion that we make the. You don't need a motion, she said. Just make your signature. No, he wants to change. 500 for the health officer. Okay. Yes. I will volunteer if you want it, or you can elect me, or you can vote on it, that I will be her deputy, and I don't want any. So, because she's going to do 99% of the work. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to do 100% of the work. I can go to his place and say <laughs> your horses are dirty. <laughs> so I'll do that. I make a motion under now the Now I've got to get to phone back. Wait a minute, we got one motion. We can only handle one motion. Motion. No. But what are you doing? Well, <laughs> it is. It's a motion to change these, made the these motion. lines. So you want, a, you want five bucks? For the, you want five bucks for the health officer yep. and um, one no remute one dollar for the one dollar for the position. One dollar for the position of the. Better um, work. You sure you don't want to check with your wife on it? Is there a second? <laughs> second. Discussion. If Peg was here, maybe we have some. And you took out the supply line. Yeah, we don't need yeah. no stinking supplies. <laughs> <laughs> so if we had. Uh, Seven hundred and fifty dollars in there instead of three thousand six hundred twenty-three dollars. So five fifty-one. Five hundred one. Seven hundred one. Five 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 hundred yeah. yeah, the mileage should be there because that's going to be information necessary for yeah. folks making a, okay. a, a decision a so, year hence. Yeah. Seven hundred changed because of the because of the biker and Medicare. Yeah, perfect. Is there okay. is there a motion to <laughs> approve bottom line? No, we're voting at the public hearing. We don't need motions tonight. That's what we're, gonna have. we're good. Up. I'd like to point out that I got hit in the arm, which is the first time I haven't been kicked. I didn't all, see enough. All season. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you were going to say all night. Didn't happen. <laughs> all right, so the budget's done. Huh? Yeah. No. Yeah. What was the bottom line? What's the bottom yeah. line? Public information. Can we supply it? No. No. No, no idea. Anything. Because it's a secret. No, we haven't done wages. That's the next on our there agenda. Is one article. And there, there is another department that we need to consider for the budget for. No, no, no. I need for that. Right. So how are we doing that next week? Can we do wages and that next week? That's fun. Wages and the separate. 501 now. We've got a lot to do for wages. No, I haven't seen it myself, so I don't know. What have you seen? Yeah, I just haven't had a chance to. Oh, you yeah. haven't looked at it. Okay, right. so I have to hold my head five minutes. Can I? Can I? Uh, can I ask yeah. for another? Yeah. Yeah. Kathy, speak. Well, she's, she's not in range, so she can't kick me. Can I have? Uh, just for information, um, instead of the um, step. <coughs> That, uh, that we approved last year. Mm -hmm. Could I get um, information on current wage salaries plus three percent cost of living across the board? So this is this is the current right yeah. what everybody gets right yeah. now. Right. And this is what two and a half. Yes. But that's one with three? But does does this include step? No uh, okay. Nobody, no step. nobody on your payroll right now needs any step or grade on your step and grade sheet. Nobody. Correct. They're all above it. Right. So that step and grade sheet is no good because well, it, it will be once you, we get up. Uh, like you know, but we're just looking at a two and a half percent cola. Right. And, and that's what the federal government is giving. And two point, well, two point eight, 2 .8 and 
and uh, in an inflationary. Are you doing 2.8 or two? No, the federal government. The federal government. government. Two point eight. Feds are 2.8. Two when Becky asked me to and do this, she asked me for 2.5, so that's what I did. Because I, that's I, what I would, you had already figured. And that's no, what, I did 2.8. Oh, you did. I I, you did I'd you like know. to see one at 2.8 and 3.0, so because if it's an inflationary uh, economy, which they keep telling us, um, you know, absent a, a reasonable cost of living is a pay decrease. I'll, I'll, I'll prepare that for next week. Thank you. Okay. For 2.8 and 3% sure. or am I yep. telling it? No, I'll do both. Thank you. Well, then we can build this one out because we have an issue to take with another. The last, well, the last thing before I come up, the last thing. But do you have, did you want to go over the Warren articles, Willie, or you probably didn't get a chance to look at those? I have no chance to download them. I've got a quick question. I sort of run quickly in here, but it was not within the focus. And again, the things that, are, that I've marked are things that I need to make sure that I change. So it's not necessarily that. There's something wrong. With it. There's something wrong. I just make, make you know, once the numbers, numbers are correct. Stuff, right? You know, I don't know who we're hiring or collecting yet. You know, those kinds of things. So, oh, the I don't know what positions sure, right. we have yeah. open yet. So, um, the highlighting yep. wasn't necessarily for you, but it's just things that we need to that we, keep that in we ought to be aware of. Too. Right. So, I have a quick question, Eli. Um, there's a, a typographical error in a petition warrant article, and somebody has to remind me. Can we fix typos in petition warrant articles, or can, do we have to go back to the uh, petitioner mm -hmm. and say, hey, look, we want to change the body to provide We can fix typos as long as it doesn't change the intent okay. of the Okay, and do we, is it, is it generally a matter of courtesy or law that we let the uh, petitioner know that we've changed that? I would say CYA, it might be nice to say, right. yes. we picked up this typographical error, we're changing it, as long as it's not changing the intent. Unless you don't want it changed, you want people to see that spelling. So, yeah. so one of the things we probably all would want to, you know, <coughs> tough to, no, nobody can proofread their own stuff, so we, we ought to take a look at, oh, yeah, if definitely. you think it's, yeah. thank you. No, I mean, I just, this is the first say, no, draft. I like it that way. I, I just, they want it just exactly what it was written, right. fine, we'll put it in that way. This is just the first draft, and I just wanted to make sure that I have everything on here that we've talked about, like right. the fire truck and the police car and um, the bridge. The bridge. Great. Yeah, we, we might want to reference the, the CIP because. And I don't know if we're doing the the library. Well, they're having their meeting tonight. And they were supposed to get back to us whether they're switching that off from carpet to. Right. Uh, and then whatever, ha what about the transfer station roof and extension? I don't remember that being, it was discussed. I don't remember the the outcome. The so that's in here. The recommendation was to postpone it from the Budget Advisory Committee. Right. The, um, it, it, it was no, it, it didn't come up. Um, there was a very brief question asked about you know, was that going to get done this year? Could that be? So again, that's something that the board can decide, but it is in here. Yeah. So. Um, on the fire truck. On the fire truck. I cannot see where we have raised the $196,000 that is to be raised in their operating budget in 2018. David, do you know where it is? It's in the Warren article. It, it was in 2017 that you raised 196? Oh, right. It was in 2018 that you didn't raise 188. Right, excuse yes. me. And that's the problem. We did. Right. No, we did. It's right here. Where is it? Oh, I can't find it. She'll find it for us because she looks at this every day. Okay. And I mean, my concern is if we haven't got it in there and we just appropriate 46,000 more, no, we're not going to have enough money to do the job. And we can't spend more than has been appropriated. So in 2017, there was a two year article that was approved. Right. And that was 
um, 196,000 to be raised in 2017 and 188,000 in 2018. Okay. I agree with what that said. Yeah. But it was to be in the operating budget. According to the Warren article, it was to be in the operating budget, and it was not in the operating budget. And I did not see it anywhere else in the proposed budget. It's, four, it's in the, isn't it in the 4,000 numbers, Jeff? Yeah. D David. 49, 10, 10, I think. I was going to yeah. say, it was in a supplemental page handed yes, out at town is. meeting to the warrant, and it was in the set with the rest of the grants and stuff, right. because we went round robin with this. Can, can I just speak to this for a moment? So the, the taxes got calculated based on $3,637,487, which was what got voted at town meeting. That's the total that got voted at town meeting. The earlier warrant article said that the 188 would not be voted on, but would be included in the budget. It was not. Some of us got worried that it might fall through the cracks, so I made a motion at the 2018 town meeting to amend the budget, increase it by 188. And that got voted down, be largely because the town attorney and the town administrator and the current chairman all said, no, that doesn't, that's not necessary. It will get included in the taxes. It doesn't actually need to be in the budget. And DRA. And DRA. And DRA, and yes. And the the DRA was quoted as it would be included in the tax calculation. Right. It was not included in the tax calculation because the taxes were calculated based on 3.6 million which was what got voted. It did not include the 188. So I believe that the town did never, never tax, raise that money. DRA, and there was an argument, I was in the room when there was an argument between the town administrator and DRA on both phone calls. And DRA said, no, nope, you don't need to put it in the budget. You're gonna, you, you, it's gonna come out of your taxes. And I voted for a tax rate a month ago, which included that 188, which I assume would so, include so, 188,000 yeah, dollars. But, but can I just say it didn't? Because this this is what got voted, they approved at town meeting, and that doesn't include the 188. The the taxes got calculated on 3.6 million. They should have gotten calculated on 3.825 million. Unfortunately, I mean I, I I don't like this is the answer. But that's the fact. So let's let me do this. I wish this had come up earlier so we could have had this information for the meeting. Um, and I'll have to look it up and have it for next meeting. Okay. These warrant articles aren't going anywhere. Well, no, I, I know, but, but I mean, I'm just I'm trying to make sure have, that we I don't have get the, all the emails exchanged stuff. from Michelle that talked about this. Yeah, yeah, you didn't share them it. with me last year because right. we had this whole issue. But you're saying when you added up everything and didn't include on our tax rating this year on the DRA sheet, it doesn't add up including the 188. Right. One vote. Go ahead, Kathy. One of the nice things that has happened over the last couple of years is during town meeting, we now say how much is coming from taxation, how much is coming from fund balance, and how much is coming from program revenue. 2018 town meeting was three million six thirty seven four eighty seven. Out of that, three million four sixty two five seventy three comes from taxation, one hundred and fifty thousand from fund balance, twenty four thousand nine hundred and fourteen from program revenue. Now, one of the pieces that happened when we set our tax rate is this budget printout that you guys see every two weeks. My bottom line for 2018 budget, which is what DRA would be looking at, is $4,030,093.89. And the reason for that is we had to add in the two-year warrant article. So welcome to municipal finance. <laughs> Okay, so then, and I, this is just called appropriations and revenue. This sheet says 3.6. Yeah, it does. I was just going to say that. That does say 3.6. Because we didn't have, because it was in the operating budget for years. That's definitely a 
issue. A DRA question then, mm -hmm. perhaps? But I, you know, however it happened, I think it, what I'm seeing in able to figure is it somehow <laughs> slipped through and the money isn't there. I mean, we have money, but those particular dollars, I don't think are in there. It didn't slip through. It was directed by D. I mean, well, there was no. And yeah, well, no, DRA no. She, did a great she has said what she to submitted anyway. to DRA for her end of the year. Help me out here, Kathy. Four million expenditures. Right. Was four million. DRA has on our sheet three. Right. So I mean. So yeah. why did DRA say three if she submitted four? The same reason how DRA moved to zero and yeah, all of a sudden so I think that's a DRA tax. question. If you actually submitted four million and they're calculating on three, then our tax rate. I don't know what you're looking at. Because that's how they calculate the tax rate. Yeah, oh, that's right. It's right. Which it's not going to be. All right. So again, yeah, I'm going to have to make a phone call. Actually, I would try it by email and see oh, well, if they no, can have a written. I have a bunch of emails from last year. No, no, I mean, this so, question, right. if she says hers are four and they yeah. calculated it three, if they'll answer you back in an email. Right. Because they'll right. deny anything they tell you on top. <laughs> yeah, this has got nothing to do with what happened at town meeting. This has got, this is to do with what happened when you set the taxes in, in December. In this in year. October. Right, right. right. Yeah. This has to do with... Yes. Yeah, right. A couple extra. Right. Thank you. Do you want one now for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I need to come. Madeline, Madeline might want one. Yeah. Somebody on the budget committee. Because we're not our taxes weren't high enough. I'm sorry. What was that? On the MS that you send in to us, was this four four million dollar used or was the three million? And that would be the question. Yes. Yeah. Like the MS or the MS well, I don't know whichever number. I mean, there's so many MS numbers that I can't keep them straight. The four is the revenue, the one is. It's revenue, one's. Yeah. Two. Two is the budget. Yeah. So I, I can tell you if you do the math, they did the 3.6, because I, I did well, the math with all the different great. components. That's a good number. Further discussion on the issue? Further breath holding by my brothers and sisters. Well, yeah, there is one more question asked the RA though. If they agree that this was calculated wrong in December, are they going to let us take the money that we thought was included and pull it out of our fund balance? Because it hasn't been it hasn't been encumbered or anything. My point is, that's right, we didn't raise it, but here we are thinking right. we have it. So, so, so my first question is like, you know, the five second rule of dropping food. Like, what's, how, what's the, how, how, how long can you go before you fix a tax rate? It got set. You sent out the bills. It's no point? longer 2018. It's like, is that? Could, could you do a supplemental warrant? Well, you probably could, but that could, but warrants good, everything good, good, with the costs and stuff. Good dollars to send out a tax bill it would be for some people 10, 15 cents because they have just current use land. That wouldn't be. A, cost-effective way to deal yeah, with I, 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 I hope this isn't true, but I bet they screwed up somebody else's taxes before and they know what the rules are for what you can do. Um, that's yeah. what I mean. We need to find out if this yeah. has happened, how can we get that money this year, or are we going to have to wait a whole other year? Well, I think you have to raise an appropriate again. I think your fire trucks just got a lot more expensive, is what I suspect. Well, well no, I mean, it, we know it's going to be expensive. No, but I'm saying you got, you have to tax for more of it than... You thought you were going to. You thought you were going to have to. Right. You said it yeah, back yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to have to raise that amount of money that we did not odd. to last year. Which will wipe out everything we said. It may have been on the table, but it wasn't great. You know, I asked the same question. And the town administrator, appreciative, went back to DRA after I sat and whined about it and got the same answer back. Yeah. And They've helped us out so many times in the past. So. Except what are you going to do? And, you know, 30, this is a 32-7A thing, which I think is a real boom to, to small small town stuff that we can spread costs out over years without losing the, the uh, um, you know, the, the 
value of the money over X many years because the contract exists. DRA but, told us what to put in the warrant in 2017 and how to put it in the warrant. Yep. We did it exactly like that. Correct. And we didn't tell DRA to go away in 2018. We were going to do exactly what they told us in 2017. And if we'd done what they told us in 2017, this would not be an issue. Well, That's I think we beat the dead horse. We're going to follow next week, huh? Yeah. You mean what we did what to do in 17, like you mean go buy the truck? No. Oh, well, okay. that's what they should have done. That's right. what the fire department should have done. Okay. <laughs> but as far as accounting for it, yeah. we should have had in the warrant, in their operating budget, just like it said, the $188,000 for the second payment on the truck. And we would have had the money, we'd have paid that bill, and this would all be done. We'd have a fire truck in there. Actually, that's not the case because they couldn't get the fire truck they needed for the amount of money that the original uh, 3270. But, but what if they had? Then you would have always, always spent more than the water article. Right. Then you would have really in trouble. Yeah. Anyway. You know, the, the difficulty is that one of the solutions to this is going to be advice from, oh, the RA. <laughs> and I'm getting tired of taking bad advice. So am I, and I sit next to you. Think about that. Think about All that. right, good. <laughs> Signature file. <coughs> Is that it? Thanks again, Jack. Uh, um, Selectman's Minutes, uh, December 27th, 2018. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Pass. Abstain. Oh, sorry. Oh, Dan abstain. Huh? Did I sign it? Sign it? Oh, I signed the wrong one. Well, that's okay. Add abstention, you know, to the thing. Oh, my. Um, non public session number one on December 27, 2018. Um, the, the, um, the minutes are sealed on the um, are at the uh, 91A <clears throat> reason to affect it would affect adversely the reputation of any person other than a member of the board. Motion to approve. Second. Non-public. All those in favor. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Same. Um, same date, session two. Motion, um, the, the minutes are public. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Do, you, uh, do you abstain on that one? Yes. What was that the non public one? Yes. Yeah, I will abstain. December 27th. I'm abstaining session. because my name's wrong. Because oh. your name's what? My name's oh, right on these. I'll, I'll I do. I write it over every time. Could you correct that? It's okay. not my legal name. <laughs> Just don't be changing your name. <laughs> Session number three. Um, the, the motion, the minutes are sealed <clears throat> on the um, allowance for effect. It would affect adversely. It may affect adversely the reputation of any person other than a member of the board. Motion to approve. Second. You can't. Somebody yeah. second? No, he second. can second. I can you second it even yeah. if you abstain? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Could I have a, <clears throat> we have manifest signature form. Could I have a drum roll, please? Thank you. New, more efficient, thank you, Kathy and Darlene. Um, meaning, um, we have uh, Payroll. Hmm. We have payroll dated January 17th in the amount of $36,039.69. Um, the year to date accumulation of that is $645,703.22. Additionally, for accounts payable dated January 17th, it's $303,109.80. And the year-to-date 
is $609,663.53. This was done. That was already done, so that's why the yellow one's a highlight. You Most can't have an accumulative total if, oh. so this is the accumulative for the whole thing. So if for you year to read date, that one, you should have run that one first. So the year to date expenditures, uh, which includes, which includes the AP. Which includes AP and, and uh, read them out of order. My apologies, but payroll is more important. Motion to approve. Second. Okay, and we'll take a minute while you look at this new approved drum roll worthy. Somebody like to get up and tap dance on this? <laughs> Delay. So We've this just received this thing, thing and it seems that it would be more the concise year. public the information yeah, on the third. all the backup stuff. Okay. okay. Yeah, and right. then the 17th. Okay. Oh, great. Yes, it is. So you're going to sign it on your Motion to approve. I, I thought I made one, but there was no. a delay. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. Discussion? All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? No. Have to one, check one, one check no, we wouldn't check register from last or manifest from last. 2018 uh, check manifest in, in the um, amount of $23,313.46 dated January 29, uh, Jan January 2019. Um, uh, uh, accounts payable dated January 1st. Uh, January 16, 2019. It's a 2018 expense that can be taken out of this. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> 2018 payroll tax credit uh, dated January 10, 2019 um, in the amount of refund to the uh, town of $114.75, payroll tax credit. Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? All those, have all those in favor? $25 uh, every aye. time they send us checks anymore. <clears throat> Timber tax levy um, for map 413, lot 18-1, in the amount of $2,014.99. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Uh, uh, po revenue, yeah. Opposed? Revenue. Um, did we vote on John Ferrero? Yes, yes we did. did. No, before it's all done. Yep, Pat all done. fell asleep from no, chronic boredom. Um, this for your signature, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. I think you're just signing the driver. We're dro guys yeah. Um, this is the uh, road agent approved. Uh, uh, driveway for Cleveland Hill Road, yeah, lot 44. Mm. Mm. Right. This is a cool. There's a letter here that you directed the town administrator to uh, um, submit and to send, and we've agreed to. Send so shall I read it so that people know what we're doing here? We talked about it last week. We did. We did. Yeah. On behalf of the Tamworth residents, the Board of Selectmen would like to thank you for the generous grant of $18,014.94 for the re renovations at the townhouse. The electrical work to upgrade and lighting and up. Upgrade the lighting and up being $2,187 less than anticipated. The Tama Foundation should have received a check in this amount that was not used. So we're sending back and thanking them for the check. Cool. Now will we sign it? Yeah. Already signed it. Yeah. I just think it's good to get a little bit of airplay for good things we do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you first. <laughs> we did that last week, too. Slackman's update. I get nothing. Yes, you did. Last night. Oh, well, that was... <laughs> Second? Um, it had been on the exchange about um, 
recycling of glass. Yes. And everybody kept saying Effingham recycles their glass and then yeah. they get it back. So I contacted the town of Effingham. They worked out with their waste management because they're single stream. So to reduce their increase in cost, they worked out that they would pull their glass out. And they worked out a contract with, I may not get the initials right, but I believe it's N R R P N R R A N R R A for recycling of glass. They do not get any of that product back in back in town. They do have to haul to haul it away. It has to be extremely clean glass with right. no labels, no nothing. Um, Susan Ticehurst is interested with something at the state, so I forwarded that information to her. I will give Glenn the information from the company, and we can go from there. LIPC is um, is running a session on that. At That's what brought the conversation. I'm, I'm registered for that. I'm going. The I'm Sue Ticehurst is trying to work through the state as well, so I'm sure. going to forward that information to her. Did, uh, did, did you sign I'm up? I'm booked too. Yeah. Good deal. Two heads are better than none, just be uh, And it's a great facility. Um, Aaron? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Last well, night. Last night, yeah. Well, um, thanks I have, for doing the legwork, by the way, Becky, you interrupted. I haven't gotten a chance to go around and do the street light thing yet, but I will work on that. It'd be best if I can get what poles they're actually attached to. Be I'll get it. If I'll look it up. I may even have it on an old computer. And Abisource is not um, does not respond to Downlene's request. If you want to assign us, hey, go take this neighborhood, give me a, a location of the poll and a poll number, you know, I'll take some and the rest of us will take I've some. I've got a whole bunch of old files and I may go back through them to see the stuff that I did when we actually yeah, That would be good so we, so we don't shut off the wrong street light and stop yeah. tamper. Yeah. I, I went with these, my brothers and sister, to last night. That, you know, talk about democracy in action. People show up, get information. I, I thought that was grand, you know, voice of opinion, pro, and it was nice town. Um, can we skip all business? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Public comment. I'd like to ask Dan Poirier to publicly apologize to my wife for the uh, response you made last week when she asked about the dog officer? Guess what, Bruno? You're not going to get it. I think you owe it to her. I don't think I do. Uh, so I guess we're at a stand fast, huh? She asked a simple question. But she asked about yes. somebody working for this town part-time, what he does on his own business. No, that's not what she asked. That's exactly what that's she, not, asked. she asked. She asked if the dog officer worked for more than one town, and you want to board her. Yes, I said it was and none of her business. Pardon? I said it was none of her business. Yes, it was. She was on the, she's on the budget committee. She and asked a discussion. simple question. Um, can, um, uh, not, I'm not assigned fall here, but if anybody was... Um, um, th there was no offense meant, I'm sure, and... <coughs> My apologies if there was a Dave, don't apologize for me. I'm not apologizing for you. I'm apologizing for me if I should have um, uh, returned the discussion to a, to a germane article of the, of the uh, issue. And uh, I, I believe my brother, did, I know my brother meant no uh, offense to, to anyone. It was a difference of opinion. Further public comment? And a hush fell over. Before I make a motion to adjourn, I would like to make a suggestion that when we say yes, that we're going to adjourn, that we adjourn. Yes. I've found in the past that there's quite a few board members that actually stay here and continue a conversation. So I would like it if we adjourn, that we adjourn, that Darlene's able to lock up the building. If you want to have continued private conversations, it should be done outside or elsewhere so that we don't get in trouble. Absolutely agree with you. There's times when I have to stand in this room because I would constitute a, a quorum 
if in any other one. And you know, we pro it, it, although I have no reason to believe that business was transacted. It was no, I'm just saying know. that the perception is there. Right. I mean, it would also. Well, then we also need to cover the when four selectmen come in to sign in on paperwork, they need to split apart so that there's no meeting taking place. Right, we've done that. Uh, yeah, we've yeah, some people <laughs> come we've done here because I've seen not people come here and yeah. And not go, and not come in the room. Right? Yeah. If there's two of us in a room and we're, we're reading the stuff, that, that that's okay. But I think your point's well taken. We probably shouldn't shouldn't put ourselves in a situation where something might come up. I make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Undebatable. All those in favor? Aye. Look at that. Dan says everybody has to go home. You don't have to go home. You can't. You almost made it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>